Hello, I'm Mark, and this is my baby puppy Jojo, who is just barking, but I, I think she's okay now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's a very sweet puppy, and um, she loves anime. Uh, I think yeah. she loves us, not the anime portion. No, she she loves anime, honey. She's Korean. So Your dog is Korean? Yeah, she's either? a Korean poodle. She's a dog in Korea. They, they eat them. Well, that what is, was that what we, well, I mean, I guess that's fair, but uh, there, there, <laughs> she did, she did have a Korean. I just cop to those allegations right up from like, yeah, that's true. Don't, don't. No. I mean, no, you gotta like, be like, no, 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 that's a myth. You don't. Uh, if the cop takes you into the station, don't say, yeah, I fucking did it, and I'll do it again. <laughs> well, no, no, I, you say, I, no, I, no, no, that wasn't me, officer. I'm not, I'm not Korean. The dog's Korean, so she's only, meant for eating. I'm the just only saying. thing I did is uh, stop myself from trying to tell Asians about their own culture <laughs> <laughs> the white man comes to tell the world how it is i don't think any of them are korean over, over there actually the you know you see them but people mistaken me for being korean so i mistook korean? you for being korean but i immediately knew you were not when i heard your last name don't tell them my last name's one I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna, <laughs> you, I mean, you. You just. Did. <laughs> how do you okay. spell that? Huh? I'm just, I'm just I, mean, I said. It, I said. It, how do you spell that? It, it, it's just. It's the most common Vietnamese name, and I knew that, so I was like, okay, so she's Wait, not Korean. What a plot twist! I would have. I would have. I would have put good money on Chinese. Just. Put it all on the table. Black twenty three, <laughs> rolling around. She is half Chinese, but her um her last name is Viet, and um uh, that's mm -hmm. the half that I guess based on somewhere. The name. <laughs> by the way, somewhere Wei just went. He just he got up. He, yeah, like does, doesn't on, he speak? Doesn't he speak fluent Vietnamese? Not fluent, but he's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so somewhere I mean, he just went. Oh, what? what is that's this better thing? than I am. All I can say is Imbe, Imbe. <laughs> Embe. Embe. What's that? My baby. baby. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> His accent's getting there, but he <laughs> I always say that and he copied me one day. I was like, okay, we're gonna have to It's very like, cute. Oh. And look at her. I mean, just like can you believe this dog's real? Yeah. <laughs> I brought her home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, we're here to talk about Attack on Titan for, mm -hmm. I suppose, the last time, or at least the last time that we're reacting to new content coming out. We may still do those OVAs at some point, but uh, I don't know. I think th this might be the, the conclusion of the Attack on Titan arc of our anime reaction streams that we do sometimes. Um, but yeah, so I... I managed to avoid... Personally, I managed to avoid spoilers from the manga until i saw it unfold in the show and i haven't looked at any secondary sources yet i saw there were some recommendations for a couple analysis videos and i do like checking those out so i, pro I probably will but I've, I've made a point to not watch any before before this whole thing happened uh, like before our thing because i just i kind of wanted i guess give my my take because what mm -hmm. what those who have been watching our streams will know that at least me specifically have been talking about the fact that people have been telling me that the ending of this is terrible for like years at this point. And as I was watching and like, like lethal lightning, for example, used to be you know, kind of a regular cast member here, but he decided he was just out on attack on Titan. I think halfway through final season, part one or two, I believe so. it, was it was part, part one. Part one. He met it was part one. Yeah, so but but what I mean is like, and I I I kept on being almost surprised by the fact that I was like, okay, the show's still not losing me. And as much as Attack on Titan season, the final season part two, had those couple episodes that had some weird timeline things going on, and then Annie kind of popping up out of nowhere in the thing with there being some, I guess, just logic and blocking things that that seemed strange to a lot of people. But I was just still kind of like, yeah, I mean, yeah, and there's some plot contrivances and things like that but I, I i wasn't really getting too bothered by it and i even got to the end of this and for the most part was like yeah i i like i liked it for the most part i i don't have any major problems with it except for one which i guess i can i can get into towards the end but um i guess why don't why don't we go around um I, what here why don't we start with lofty because he's not said anything yet and then go <laughs> 
counterclockwise, skipping me and then ending on X-Ray Girl. What are we to hi? What are, hey, hi, hi. Luffy. What's up, Luffy? Uh, Have you seen my puppy? Have I seen them? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, they're good puppies. Yeah. Um, I love those things. Look at them. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should get all of our dogs on on a stream one time and just see if they have a conversation with each other. Oh, I can hear I have two. freaking out right I, now. I have two. Uh, they're about the same size. And then I think um, who else has one that I stream with? A couple other people. They're, that'd be fun. A dog stream. A I dog stream. That. That'd be cool. It'd just be the best thing in the world for me. Man. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, what are we doing? Are we giving our thoughts? Uh, I think it's just like <laughs> yes. our, our, our yeah. impression, I suppose. Did yeah, you like your, it, your general not? impression. Yeah. Did you like it? Did you not? No no details, just your overall yeah. how you yeah, felt. Yeah. I, lo I loved it. I, I uh, was not spoiled by anything. I went in blind, didn't read the manga, somehow avoided spoilers at, <laughs> somehow. And um, I loved it, and I thought it was amazing. Perfect ending with some maybe some issues with some of the pacing towards the end, but other than that, I thought it was amazing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have to fix my mouth. My guy's not talking. Hey, right. girl, what about you? Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, like, like, uh, like Lofty and Mark, um, I, I did avoid like any spoilers. I, I, I basically anything that has like attack on Titan related things on either on social media or Facebook or whatever, I tend to avoid. Um, I did have a friend who told me that she hated the ending. So I'm like, Oh no, you know, what did they do? But, um, but other than that, like I, I enjoyed it. Uh, this, this, this might, this might sound, this might sound gay, but, um, the thing is, uh, now that th there's basically a hole in my heart, only a colossal titan can fill but like now oh, oh, oh that just sounded dude. super gay oh my god <laughs> i mean you know it could be a different different <laughs> hole so Kick I mean, yeah. project <laughs> egg roll forthwith no no no, no. <laughs> just to feel yeah. a can is cool <laughs> other than that uh it's uh i i enjoyed it i enjoyed it that was I, bet, I bet Aaron could fill that hole with his um his hardening abilities. Oh, yeah, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> <laughs> He's got that's, quite the hardening talent. That's like saying like I, I don't have much of a dong, but I do have a silicone you know, like dildo molder in in my three D oh, printer god. back there. God. <laughs> I mean, it's like yeah. Well, I mean, I guess you could say you're good in bed because you're a three D printer, but I mean, really, like. It's not a win. How know? many how many holes did Aaron plug with his hard and hard? Uh, I mean, hard unlimited, you're, you're, like just uh, like uh, any at uh, the amount that is required at any given time. He can just create things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. speaking of that, the funniest part of that whole thing was uh was was peak just like going in and out of the Titans and just kept like oh, biting it her just kept on going and going. That was actually like over and over again. I was not, yeah, that was I was not that was shocking. I didn't think that was possible, but Honestly, because of her uh, ability to be a Titan for months on end, I could see it. No, no yeah. other Titan can do that except her. That I mean, was one was, of the highlights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was sad. Like, because, I, I think it was during season four, the second part. Or no, the first part. When they, they were talking about, like, the militaristic uh, aspects of each Titan. And one of them was the car Titan. They said it's not only good to like uh, travel long distances, but the the resistance that it has to never get tired. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, that's interesting, but n never like really saw it as a as a oh okay, there's gonna be it's gonna come into play until this time. I was like, mm -hmm. oh shit, look at that. That was pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh KJ, what are your initial thoughts? Um it's good. Um it's fine. I have no real major complaints with it. Um I do think that if what you're saying is true, um Mr. Taco about the uh is it is that how you pronounce that T A K O? Is that Taco? Yeah, that's Taco. All right. Uh, I just want to make sure. Um 
in terms of the 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 manga being um a lot of uh, being kind of more condensed and people kind of being like hey you should have explained this a bit more um i guess if the anime did take the time to add a line here add a line there that just kind of flesh things out a little bit more i can understand yeah. how the anime ending is better than the manga like you're yeah saying. I, I it's not it's not too. difficult to yeah. believe um i looked into that too and it and it, it, it adds a little bit more isuyama also wrote the script to the final episode mm -hmm. um and i think um most of it's the same but yeah there, there's some there's some more fleshed out dialogue i think in yeah. one scene in particular yep yeah yeah um I, I will say that um, there there are also some very interesting implications towards the end of the episode when Aaron and Armin are having a conversation, which I'm sure we'll get into a big – I'm sure we'll just skip through, through yeah. the, the action be like, action's good, action's good, good. oh, stop. <laughs> We're going to have a conversation like an hour about this scene. Yeah, um, I think they, this will be mostly focused on the, the talking parts of the episode because yeah, I think – Yeah, yeah, yeah. The action, yeah, just for the most part, good. It's good, solid – Mappa anime action. That, that's kind of what you say, right? You're like, oh, the action's good. And moving on. Well, um, Mappa is so good now that it's kind of like the fact the way the way you said that, like, it almost sounds like, I mean, to me, the, the uh, action, the animation is like top tier, like some of the best I've ever seen in any anime period in this episode. And it, but the fact that Mappa does that with every single one of their shows is kind of it, it's weird. It, it Like we're becoming numb to it almost. Mm -hmm. you know i mean like kaizen the last kaizen episode was unhinged how amazing the uh, animation was well it's kind of like i still uh, yet to watch that yeah. show i've not watched oh. just I, 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 I really <laughs> really like chainsaw man though and hell's yes. paradise those oh, are really yeah. good. i, I, I need to watch that. those as well also oh, both yeah. so good but Vinland that's the Saga. thing with like with <laughs> like you right where you're yeah. like oh you yeah. has a good action scene and we're moving on yeah, <laughs> because it's like you 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 walk into a Ufotable show yeah. with the assumption that the animation is going to be good, and Map is yeah. kind of getting the same way now. We are like, and good action, go. All right, Quick so aside about Ufotable: Did uh, anyone catch that on an episode of the Real BBC, X-ray girl was dressed up as Reen Tosaka? Uh, I didn't know. No. I did. Most people didn't get it. I I, I got it. Oh, yeah, I, 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 didn't. I just look cute. She does look <laughs> cute. She's very cute. Um, Ivan, what are your thoughts on the, the yeah, episode overall? It's mostly perfect. Uh, in my opinion, it's 100% beautiful and a perfect ending to a masterpiece of a series. Is there a couple of things that I've thought about uh, and talked with other people that there's, you know, you can poke a couple of holes here and there, but the holes are the size of a needle, in my opinion, when you have such a grand story and something so yeah. massive. I think this was the absolute perfect ending. And I have I, I'm, I have yet and I've been like I've been such a such a jerk on Twitter asking everyone like, hey, please give me a good argument into why you didn't like the ending. And so far, I just haven't heard one. Um, and I guess we can talk about like what what the common consensus is on 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 the internet of why people didn't like it and why they did like it and stuff like that. So but, I um, was trying to get a weekend warrior who's a, a Filipino YouTuber. Yeah, no, he really hates it. But um, he's he does? because because he's in the Philippines though. He's on his way to work right now. He did fire <laughs> me a Discord message. He's yeah, like, "Hey, yeah, sorry, yeah. I'm going to work." <laughs> like because it's oh, yeah, eight it in the morning here. Uh, it would have it would have turned into a, a, a massive argument probably. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but honestly, I more yeah. wanted him to chime in just so I could get some counter arguments because, I mean, honestly, yeah. like I, I had one big problem with the the ending, which is why I, I think I, I might end up being the most negative. I, I don't know, I might not be, but hold back I, on that, Mark. It might I be am I, no, 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 I am going to because it's it's really with the very ending. So, like, if we're oh, if we're going through the you episode. Bring lethal I, lightning on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That well, was but I mean, I know. See, the <laughs> thing is, though, but I wouldn't because if he said he hasn't been watching the show for the last oh, yeah. three years, like, I mean, not, true. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I, I've tried like, my best. Whereas, like, I know Weekend Warrior like is really into anime, so he'll watch yeah. things even knowing he's not going to like them because I think he read the manga as well. Mm -hmm. But um, and Wait, he, you know, he's like an EFAP guy, so he's he's good he's, with talks. Yeah, even when he's cool. We he, I know. Yeah, we're all friends. Me and him are friends with like mutual friends with a lot of people. He's he's a cool guy. Um, yeah. I uh I just think 
okay so do you guys notice a, uh uh your twitter space your feed or whatever social media feed being sort of mostly positive surrounding the show because i was i was under the the, the impression we were going to see a wave like an avalanche of negativity and i think that's because the manga readers Number one, they were in a little cloistered little bubble, and there's and it's very heavily like meme culture oriented. So they have a lot of they meme a lot of the panels, and it's just very like kind of, sort of aggressive over the top. Mm. Number two, they changed some things in the anime, and I think anime is easier to kind of digest than a manga when you're especially when you're binge reading a manga. You sort of yeah. it's a just a different kind of vibe. but what do you did you do you see a lot of negativity i don't i see like a couple no no not really i mean yeah. I, I like it, there will be people who yeah. like have just been dumping on, i mean like weekend warrior for example have been like yeah, talking yeah. shit about the ending since it ended <laughs> in the manga that are just like well i can't believe yeah. there's people out there calling this ending perfect or brilliant when it was kind of mid and i'm like i don't think i actually don't think it was mid. i think it was uh, but to me, honestly, uh, I don't know if we could maybe pull up some references. I know we don't have them handy, but I kind of thought that this was exactly what was going to happen for the oh, okay. most part. Like, I was like, if anything, I found this ending kind of predictable, but in the way that I don't dislike predictability in storytelling, because yeah. I think it's predictable in a way that it was like, yeah, they they laid the groundwork. This is the story they were telling. This is the logical way that this story should end. And they didn't do any like curveball because we got to subvert your expectations and throw in something at the last minute yeah. that's going to change everything. And I mean, I guess there is that thing and that's my little detail, but I, I actually think that depending on how you read it, you can disregard the aspect of it that I have well, a problem with. Were you with, influenced but... by the, the talk, the, 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 were you, were you at all influenced by people saying it the ending was terrible and then so you were making no, predictions because no, no, of that no, no, or no 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 okay. i was just i was braced for it to be bad right so like i was just like look but i'm were still you enjoying this show and i still want to watch it so i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna keep watching it until it's over i don't know this bad ending and i'm yeah. just gonna let it unfold as i've been experiencing and i honestly think that a lot of people did that for attack on titan because yeah. it's a re as much as the manga is at, like most manga are in that there's it's got a niche audience and that's pretty much it the anime was very normie tier. Like everyone was watching mm -hmm. Attack on Titan because the yeah. first season was on Netflix. Yeah, and I well, honestly think that the well, only it first started season off on, that way. You know, also, it's it important started, to keep. In, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Lofty. No, no, no. I was just gonna address the normie thing because it, it started off that way because the first season is so shonen, but mm -hmm. this show, it's it was sort of chameleoned itself into becoming a sort of more esoteric show, sort of like Evangelion in a yeah. way that that the nor i feel like a lot of normies were like half kind of paying attention to the stuff yeah mo most normies yeah. hated season two and were out right. at that point like mm -hmm. it, it was like okay it wasn't more action it was yeah they were stuck in a tower the entire season this sucks yeah. and that, that's it yeah. but over here before well, we get too deep into anything right. x-ray girl what are your initial thoughts uh i think that it was a lot better than i thought it'd be a lot of TV shows or just shows in general, they kind of end on a horrible note, but it kind of was, um, you know, they had a nice, like, pretty bow at the end and then it left a little bit of uh, maybe there might be something that might happen in the future, but I hope they never reopen that box. I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, uh, that's the, the part of what I, I was a, upset about. A, yeah. <laughs> and um, but well, I, I mean, hey, hey like about that at some point, because um, I, I, I'm talk sure to you guys about that. What you're I'm sure we yeah, will, we'll which is that. why if we're going to go through the show in yeah. any kind of linear fashion, we should we should maybe start that now and try to move quickly because it's a it's a oh. meaty episode. And mm -hmm. I'm sure there are moments in which we will go on a very long right. tangent, well, which well, also I was, so every, everyone <laughs> uh, we're also we got a, a six person and they, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. five five, Everybody... five person one woman show. I mean five five man one that woman show. Like something for prawn hub. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. If anything, I thought I was making a that. making a, a, a cheeky misogynistic joke by saying five people and one woman, but I don't know, it didn't really <laughs> land. But 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 anyways, um so everyone, including me, I'm saying this to myself, make an effort to keep each thing you say. Yeah relatively brief otherwise this yeah, will, mark 
Hey, yep. honey, I, 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 I prefaced it by saying, I'm saying it to myself as well. Mark talks a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Like, I, I know there's a few people on the panel that do. So I'm just saying, I, everybody try, try to rein it in today a yeah. little because otherwise sometimes, this is going to yeah, go away. Sometimes you just got to let Lofty and Mark talk back and forth for 30 no. minutes. <laughs> I no, learned no, that no. very well. Well, that's no, because every, you didn't have anything so to say. Well, and also, you didn't know. also every, every so often, Lofty and I just need to argue about yes. stuff. Yes, I liked just, it. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm making a joke, well, but I, I liked that, it. That, and the funny thing is, as much as it might not seem like we do, so do we. And so you yeah. gotta just kind of let us go until we get to that's something true. of a resolution and right, move on. It always I happens. Wanna, I do want to yeah. very briefly. Uh, pick up or, or 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 defend the manga readers because not yeah. everybody hated it it was more divisive oh, than you yeah my brother didn't hate it, it. Yeah. so yeah yeah just want to point that out. Yeah. all right let's That's get into true. it okay right. so you want um, to show reference images yeah because i think the references will help me go through this otherwise i'll be doing it all so can we yeah okay cool thank you so yeah so at the beginning what is the first shot that we see here the plane. I guess yeah. Like it comes, it comes right in on the action from the mm. the pre the end of the previous one, right? Yeah. Like there's yeah, no. They just like took they repeated off. it a little bit. Yeah. They yeah. They, the they, they they sort of end like begin it with repeating the yep. the very end of the the previous movie essentially, and what I really liked about this scene is they didn't really they didn't mess around a lot with having it be like this big pre-fight before they're getting into it like it, it's it started to their plan started falling apart a bit so it did make it have to go a lot longer than it was but i i did find that they were like just trying to get to aaron's head like right away and i did appreciate that because it didn't seem like okay we're knocked on the ground and now we got to climb up there because it's the rumbling and I, I thought that it, it kept things much more intense because you're like oh they they do actually have a shot at winning because I mean, if they just really have to get to Aaron and kill Aaron, then yeah, you know. But um, what like there were a few things though that happened in this fight that I thought were, were hold on one second, I have puppies. Were really crazy. Why don't we skip to some of the next slides? And um, I don't know. I guess uh, here, why don't we go around um, again? Here this time we'll go to the right of me. So we'll go we'll go down from here, and then X-ray girl last again. So uh, Ivan, uh, what did you think about the battle overall? I mean. I I felt sorry for the animators because goddamn, they definitely went through hell and it looks beautiful. I mean, it I think is one of the best battle sequences we've seen in the in this show. Like they yeah. did not cut corners, and you can see everyone getting a little bit of their shine. I, I mean, if you read the manga, you definitely there were things that were added in this battle to make it more intense, yeah. to make sure that everyone was getting their their moment to shine. And I absolutely appreciated that. So is this that Arifumi Imai, the 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 guy I'm pronouncing it right. The the animator is I think it's Arifumi Imai. He's mm -hmm. a, he's sort of like a legendary animator. I think he did. I know he did the last part of this sh this show, but I don't know if he did the first part of the ending. You I'm know, not, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Yeah, because it's divided into like five parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it was um, so good. I, it was great. I think the I think what Lofty is uh, talking about is the part where the, they're zipping and dipping on their uh, ODM gear, right? At yeah, that it, it's it's, yeah. it's 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 Mikasa and uh, Levi mm -hmm. at the end. That's the part I'm talking yeah. about. It's just like the best animation. But anyway. um, so manga reader, um, was the Reiner Jean bromance was that like a thing, or did they add that in? No, that was that was. I mean, it's not a bromance. It's one of the themes of the. Of, of Attack on Titan is to once you get to know your your enemy, you realize he's not necessarily your enemy. You know, that's that's one of the things that they try to drive home. And if there was one guy that hated Reiner more than anyone was Jan. Yeah. So yeah. seeing them working together, it was to like drive point the home, drive, drive the point right. that, you know, like these people are are moving working. past their their dis disagreement exactly yeah because mm -hmm. reiner has reiner had pre previously basically done everything he could possibly do to, to uh um uh like apologize basically for everything mm -hmm. he did wrong and like he you know he tried to be to um be the better person in in the end 
And he, mm. I think everybody recognized that. Is that what you're saying, kind of? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah pretty, pretty much, he was like, "Hey, you know, you did some fucked up shit. Yeah. On your end, but my guy over here is doing some fucked up shit on my end too. Yeah. So I like we yeah. can we can forget about our differences for a minute and let's 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 save this shit. Yeah. You know? There's a bigger evil in exactly this whole mm -hmm. world. Bigger mm -hmm. evil. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. Cause that's because that's what I was wondering. Because uh, the second you mentioned that everybody got their moment, I immediately wanted to ask if that was added in. Because that's one thing that I always was like, ah, come on. Because some of the Titans never get much play, and I really like that um, both Annie and Reiner got plenty to do in this episode. And I was like, oh, thank mm -hmm. God, finally. Yeah, because I thought they were gonna tuck Annie away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my concern. I was like, ah, oh, come on. Crystallize her crystal again. for the last few years. Let her have yeah. her moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we can't have any having moments. <laughs> oh, that was such a weird, like, I all I could think was hentai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to we need to search uh Isayama's hard drives. Be like, hey, what you got on there? <laughs> but yeah, what that was a a shocking way to kind of shut him up and prevent him from exploding. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when I saw this, all I could think was these are the previous Titans, I think, because they all look like the Warhammer mm. or versions of the Warhammer yeah. Titan. I like that visually they let the audience catch on to that before the characters do. I, I yeah. always like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big part of suspense, at least for Alfred Hitchcock, for example. He always said that. Um, uh, suspense is that the audience knows a bomb is under the table, but the characters don't. And mm -hmm. and so that, that's a good example of, of suspense because we can pick up visually like, oh, I bet mm -hmm. those are the previous generations, but the characters haven't figured it out yet. So now we have suspense. We have a, oh, shit. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was good. Thousands of years of Titans. Imagine fighting those. That'd be insane. The puppies come back. Hi, Jojo. No, I have one. Oh, I have one puppy. I don't see any. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. I don't see it. Yeah. yeah. Say Aww. hi, Rocky. Oh my god! It scared me. It's it just came out of nowhere. It just jumped. <laughs> it jump scared Lofty. It jump yeah. scared me. <laughs> yeah. That's so uh. funny. Belly I feel good. so bad for Anyakafon. I feel like he oh, tries God, so yeah. hard and he still gets like <laughs> he gets the shaft everywhere he goes. <laughs> like he can't even rest in peace because Annie's father immediately starts yelling at him, like, yo, bro, get the fuck <laughs> up. Where's my daughter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just like, hey, you know, and it's like he's bleeding from the head, asshole. I just crashed a plane. Like, come on. <laughs> what the fuck up? Sir, I appreciate you are stressed out, but I think I have a head injury. <laughs> god i love all the, the the previous titan designs like especially the one that looks like a clown like i love that one yeah. it was like I, I think it might have been like um what's it called again uh, the, the jaw titan one of the older ones like it looks like mm -hmm. looks like a clown I'm like that's well, so they, cool. yeah, wow. yeah, yeah that one right there one. yeah there you go oh, no that one that one that one, that one. I yeah. specifically took a picture of him because looks i thought like, the same thing i was like badass that yeah, is pretty like cool i actually missed from that Hellraiser. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I'm, yeah. What do you guys think the bull titan was? Because they were even trying to guess. My my bet was a cart. The what? The, the bull. The, bull? the, the, the one that small had uh... Armin. Oh, yeah. oh, that was that was, yeah. that was probably yeah, like a cart. cart. A pig? Mm -hmm. Oh, the pig titan. Yeah. Was it a pig? I, I saw a bull when I was I looking mean, at that thing. Even Pete yeah, kind of looks like, like that, like a little bit. Mm. He, she's carried people Bulls in her mouth bull. before. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. well, they, they yeah. do that, don't they? Bulls. Yeah. I, I love this shot of Mikasa. It's just a, her, the, the anger in her eyes. They called it a, like an Opoya, mm. Opoya something. I think it's a Japanese pig or something. That's that's what. Uh, I just, yeah, right it's, on Twitter. I, I believe it's an Okapi. It's like a. Okapi. It's, it's like a mixture of like a giraffe and a zebra. Oh, yeah, Ooh. something like that. Okapi. Yeah. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, minor antagonist. It was a former inheritor of one of the nine titans. No. We're just reading about it. I think it was this scene that I was like, oh, these are definitely the previous because I'm like armor, uh, jaw. Uh, Warhammer. Yeah. You can see the beast titan. titan as the yeah. alligator. 
The oh, Warhammer in front oh, there looks pretty cool. I totally cool, didn't you know? miss that. Dang. Wasn't there yeah. a dog? Yeah, yeah, Beast Titan. Yeah, really yeah. good designs. You can tell Isayama was like, fuck it, I mean, it's the end. I'm just going to draw everything that pops up. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. it. It's like a Medusa in the background, the very back. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He was just like, why not? <laughs> yeah. I like it. No, Which Titan is that? Medusa you figure it out. Me. I'm trying to. Like, I don't know. Snake hat. Female know. Titan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a version of the female. I mean, the jaw titan. Who would have thought that they could fly? Like that some was almost overreaching. Have, some women do have serpents for hair too. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so who thought she was dead? I did. Uh, I, I, was... I thought she was very close to dead. Yeah, same. I didn't think she was gonna die, but I thought... clearly that hurt. I, it's, I, I thought Levi was dead like three times. Um, no, Levi should have died on... three times. <laughs> <laughs> X-Ray Girl was on Project A-Roll's um, channel doing an interview, and if you guys heard me shout, no, it was this. Oh, God. Yeah, because I remember, I was like, oh, are you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> I, wasn't. I can't Please. tell you. They got, they you got down the feet. stairs? <laughs> no, they, they knew I was watching it. So I was playing it up a bit, but still. The peak peak. best booty. Because yeah, I'll be she honest, does. She has the best I booty. thought... Yeah. yeah, I also thought Jean might have bite it literally right here. I was like, oh, man, okay. oh my they're God, killing off characters. Oh, my God, he was going to die. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Such a good save. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah, that's Lots also, like, that okay. is kind now, of one of the problems. There's I some... They, they kind of didn't kill anyone. I know. You could you yeah. could, you could could argue for the pl plot armor thing. However, if the fact that they had Mikasa and Levi here was like, hey, I, I get, they get away with it because those two are, like, just so OP. So I, it kind of makes sense that that nobody would die. I kind of get it. Like it, 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 I wish I don't wish somebody died, but I can understand if people yeah. like. And yeah. let, let I, me let me just let me just tell you. Um, yeah, in in my like, this is obviously my dumb, ignorant opinion, you know. Right. But um, yes, I, uh, that's an argument that has happened a lot. The the plot armor, like no one died. Ooh, like yeah. But the thing is, number one, if no one's going to die because the story yeah. needs to happen, um, uh, also make it believable. Like you can count how many times they were just about to and how bad they actually get injured. So that's yeah. one. You know, like Very it's not dire, like they yeah. they went on skate. Like they yeah. definitely got their ass handed to them. They were so close, so many times. Now, the second point, and this is something that I haven't seen brought up, is that if any of them had died, it would have cheapened yeah. Aaron's yeah. death. I agree. Yeah. Because and he I would have lost focus. About that. You also have to that. remember, those guys are literally the best in their class. They've exceeded beyond expectation. I mean, of course, Mika says OP, and yeah. of course, Levi's OP, mm. but like Jean has been proven Jean. a leader, yeah. um, Armin, even as well, even though you never thought he would. Yeah. get to this point mm -hmm. and i mean uh who's the other one well i mean armin well, is a also, titan yeah Ar uh, yeah armin's also the colossal armin's titan, colossal so titan. Uh, peak is a titan i, I, I wouldn't john I is wouldn't the best have... odm gear apparently is, uh I, I forgot about this but apparently oh, john Connie. is like the best odm gear wielder or whatever of all of them uh, really? according, to, no, according I... to the scout scores or whatever but yeah i think the thing though is peak is the one that they probably would kill so that's why i believed yeah. it yeah, like I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. well, yeah, okay, we got to lose someone, I guess. But I, mean, I, I, I ultimately don't agree with the whole cheap and Aaron's death argument. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you have to, you have to kill some characters off. It, it, it's like you're at the end of the story, and I'll get to the point where I thought a couple characters were gonna be killed, and I was like, oh, that's a really satisfying end. Holy shit, that is so good. And then they mm -hmm. came back, and I was like, but oh, don't you that. think that uh, if that happened, then they would have had to spend like a couple minutes like lamenting over that person's death, and then it would have taken away the entire point of Aaron's like dim like <laughs> uh, freedom or whatever that you wanted to call it at the end of it. But I think uh -huh. it would have distracted too much from it, and. We uh, like during the no, action, like no, the uh, distraction. I, then I I don't think you would have yeah. to because of how the the show ends with um the the fallen comrade. They would have had to have another yeah dad. But no, the, the, yeah. the thing is though that character, any characters who die in this episode can get their moment of mourning in the last thing when they're doing the the salutes at each other and stuff like exactly and everything, exactly. and that would have been fine. Yeah. Like no exactly. one would say that oh they just die and they're never mentioned again. It's like no. Yeah. They yeah. immediately join the fallen comrades that an, visit the Eldians and their visions, you know. So, like, a, I mean, yeah. I, I would have been fine with that. 
there's another play, thing that comes into play, which is the um, the time loop and the fact that they didn't die in the timeline. So Aaron didn't kill them. So there, there, we could get into that kind of stuff. That's but, a um, whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's yeah. there's no multi universes in this thing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Like one, I, loop, one loop like i would yeah. thought that like peak like i'm I'm on the same boat as mark like i thought like out of all the characters i think peak would have been a great death because like the yeah. fact that she was basically like you know transforming all over and over and over again that could be like her last hurrah exactly what happened with hanji oh, right yeah. so like, like i thought that was gonna happen it's like cause, okay i'm gonna blow up the neck and then you know this will be my last hurrah you know like mm -hmm. good luck like that that well, would have yeah. been like a, think a good about, one. think about how many people they did kill throughout the show i feel like I feel like it's it was like a Mostly relief like that somebody didn't die finally. Like I I oh, I yeah. I I didn't necessarily need another shocking death because we've had how many like look at the <laughs> but that's my biggest problem. Yeah, lofty is that this show. The biggest problem with the show is how it deals with death because the first yeah. half of the show is like let's just kill off every fucking red shirt that walks through the door. Yeah, and then they it it drops off a cliff post season three where it's like now nobody dies basically, and it's like. You gotta, you well, gotta, you, you gotta even it back. Uh, it's, it's, what, it's, what do you mean? No one dies. People die. Like, I mean, there's a lot of people that die. A but bunch here's, of red shirts. But here's a, here's the, the thing. Oh yeah, Hanji. let's let's call Sasha a red shirt. Sasha, you know, Hanji. let's call Kanji. <laughs> Hanji. That's two. Even What's fucking Flock. And like, well, yeah, let's let's yeah. not forget All about the, the entire Levi's the entire Captain. battalion that happened during the like the invasions. Like Gabby, well, I, I think if people yeah. are talking about the final episode deaths. I think you can count Hanji. Because yeah. I mean, let's yeah. face it, this was all just yeah. one yeah. big movie yeah, yeah, that yeah. they divided into two parts. Like, but, yeah. but that is arguably the best scene in the entire series. Yeah. I, well, I, yeah, I yeah. know. And that, so that's like what I'm when, when you like, put weight when you put weight behind character death, it right. actively adds to the narrative. That's what yeah, I'm arguing. I mean, that, that that's right. kind yeah, of the, the argument that I was making. I'm not saying that not yeah. having a character die ruins the episode or anything. No, I just, no, 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 no. I I do think that there's there was fertile ground for storytelling there and i think that you you feel less shortchanged by it if you kind of think of hanji as happening within this same arc so she was the big death and she had a really good very heroic death and yeah. i think kj is also correct in that they had a lot of setups for very good heroic deaths and it like i mean again we, we can talk when we get to the ending yeah. about how that would maybe mess up the, the i grand just made plan, the mirror I just made Ymir in a MMO called New World. <laughs> <laughs> I made Ymir because there's a in the game you can do you can have a warhammer and you can use this move that's like ice and you can freeze yourself. It was just reminding me of Titan, so yeah, I made Ymir. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's a fun uh, New World uh, made a comeback by the way. It's a fun. Game. Oh, that's good to hear. So. I'm yeah. still chipping away at Final Fantasy 14. I'm at Stormblood now though, and uh, it's getting good. Yeah. Oh, that base. Thank you, Mike Hill, for the five dollars. If Colossal Titan causes a massive explosion, why didn't destroy the wall in the town in the first episode? So I do have an answer to that, and I think that they even establish it in this episode. It's because the the wall is made out of Titan hardening, just like the armored Titan, and the Colossal Titan's explosions can't destroy hard, Titan hardening. Like yeah, that, is, it's like an armored tank. Kind yeah, of, well, the thing is, they like, they mentioned that Reiner can tank the Colossal Titan explosion, which kind of makes some sense for the first uh, episode, too, yeah, yep. because, um, like, he must have been nearby, right? And mm -hmm. and yeah. he just didn't die in that explosion, so... <laughs> I love yeah, that he calls this out. It's so funny. He's like, hey, you get smashed up like a shit ton, dude. What the fuck is up with that? It's <laughs> I've had so many questions like that, where why didn't this happen? Why didn't that happen? And every time I... Went to do research. I found out that Isayama came up with an answer for it, and I think a lot That's of people good. are underestimating Isayama's like genius when it comes to weaving these storylines together and setting things up and having payoffs. People are like sort of have short term memory loss with a lot of stuff, and they don't do the research and they just ask questions and think there's no answer and there's a plot hole when there really is actually an answer. And it, I see this all the time, and people that's what causes a lot of these arguments, but. I mean, I guess so deep, that that's what is fun yeah. about having a fan base that cares, yeah. and and I mean, it's what's really commendable on Isayama's part for having those answers. Because I I really exactly. appreciate when 
writers have those answers, which is one of the reasons yeah. why I get so angry at things like MCU and Star Wars. Because right. it seemed like more and more often they were just like, well, we don't need to explain things, whatever. It's silly yeah, yeah, magic yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it, it would make it more entertaining if we knew the stakes. Yeah. You know? It's, but uh, I, this is this is one of the most meta lines, honestly, in Attack on Titan. Like, I, I, like, yeah, Titan. He, yeah, he's like, man, you can smash it up a lot. It's like, yeah, he really does, doesn't he? That's funny. Yep. <laughs> this was sad yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of afraid. I thought that this this felt like this was probably the first like, oh crap, it feels like it's over. Exactly. That's what I thought. I thought he was dead, man. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. like, because. There's no way to predict this fight choreography at all because it's so chaotic that yep. if you're hanging on a uh, string from a, a giant skeleton, like, and literally anything could happen. Like, it, yeah. And then this happens. Like, who's who? Like, who who would have? Yeah, thought I didn't. To be, to be honest, I forgot about. I'll, Falco, I'll be. But, yeah. I'll be honest. I saw this coming a million miles away, and the reason I well, did Falco, is because yeah. it's it's tele telegraphed because Falco. Mentions multiple times that he dreams yeah. he dreams of being a bird. Yeah. He dreams of flying. He can see yeah. he, he envisions himself in the air. And it's like you can see where it's going. So there's this big argument. This this channel on Twitter, YouTube did a big breakdown of why this show sucks or whatever. And one of his main things was that Falco conveniently turned into a bird and they happened to fly and it and they got lucky. And it's like it's not it's not really luck because he had these premonitions of being of being able to fly and Gabby mm -hmm. knew this and Gabby told Annie this and and they all were like okay let's just we're going to die anyway let's just let's risk it and see what happens and mm -hmm. they explained it in the show so and let's not these... forget that they also <laughs> yeah. they they also set it up on the little yeah. little conference when Reiner was suggesting to invade uh Paradise again yeah one of the generals like whatever his name is says wouldn't it be convenient if we had a flying titan? <laughs> like yeah. they, they they said that. They set it up. Yeah, so the foreshadowing. There's so much foreshadowing in this show. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first episode is when he wakes up and he cries, and then you see it again at the end with um, Mikasa. It's like reversed. Also, um, interesting yeah. part with Annie here, where she says she starts to say, "Where is Armin?" and then she stops and says, "Where's Peak?" Actually. Oh. She's, about, she's about to be like, hey, where's Armin? And then she's like, yeah, because oh. my girl is in love. Nice. You know? She yep. loves him. She, she, she <laughs> wants those mooshes. She I, wants I, those mooshes. She, she, wants she, would, she, would, she would not she be one upped by Jean in the meta lines, though. That was just also great. She shoots right back with a. Oh, she's down with the blonde Andy manlets. Be, did Annie, did Annie become number one waifu now that? Uh, Sasha's dead. Like, who's 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 Mikasa? Mikasa still I mean, number yeah. one, man. <laughs> Obviously, but but well, I consider me and Mikasa <laughs> off limits because she's just the peak. A little crazy. Oh, so yeah. I think uh, I pick peak. I, yeah, peak. Peak's yeah, peak or um, Hanji. I mean, <laughs> before that she's happened. dead too. Yeah. So <laughs> if we're disqualifying Sasha, I guess yeah, that's well, true. we've reached the point that we got to disqualify Hanji as well. So I, I, I need. I, I, go, go, go ahead, expert girl. I was gonna say Mikasa, Peak, Annie. Is there a fourth yeah. one we can put yeah, in this no. poll? Uh, they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead. <laughs> I mean, technically, you can. Yeah, kind of. Oh, Gabby. You can say Historia. Gabby's like the last one, but oh, Historia. Yeah, that's you, good. You can say Historia. Ah, no, Historia. she's taken. You know who he looks like? He looks oh, like the same. They gotta be single. <laughs> <laughs> he look, he looks like the Sandbird from Super Mario Sunshine. You remember that game? Oh yeah, I, uh, we yeah. have to collect the red coins on the sandbird. No, that looks like it, one of the fucking bullshit. One of the that's Titan what it reminds me of Colossi from Shadow of the Colossus. There's a bird that. Kind of <gasps> oh like shit! You're right. Yeah, and then yeah. you climb it like this too. You climb its back. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, like really cool. Shadow of the Colossus is good. I'm goaded. Hunter yeah. Girl should play it. You guys talking yeah, about peak? Me. I I need to see oh. the ass shot you guys are talking about. Yeah, yeah, show me. Oh. <laughs> I think it's in um it's in it's in another episode. <laughs> That's oh, no. is when she's oh, crawling no. on the ground. She's crawling on the ground yeah, at their up. at their base and she's like, Oh, yeah. sorry about that. Sometimes I like crawling because I feel like I'm in my Titan mode when <laughs> when I crawl. And oh, like, I do remember that. And they they they're just like looking at her you know, ass my... she's like <laughs> perching it and perking it up and like on the ground. Uh, my my waifu, my waifu was 
honestly Petra before she died, <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Petra. Oh, Petra. 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 Uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. It's a beauty. Yeah. yeah, I feel bad for her, man. The and bestest Levi. red shirt of them all. Well, she was it. she was basically in the oh, Attack Lord. on Titan prequel show that we never got, where it's like the well, scouts yeah. the scouts cast before uh, the yeah. cast we know came in. Well, <laughs> Annie killed Petra, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so yeah. Was, Levi, was there a point where ever Levi like chastised her for killing his squad? I can't nope. remember. Did they? Not really. No. Mm. No, no. Well, they had the episode enough. with the bonfire where they're kind of saying like, right. "Yeah, like, dude." And Levi, we've all, like, we've all killed each to, other. Uh, like, like, just shut the fuck up. Let me sleep. It's in the past. Yeah, it's in the past. <laughs> I don't understand. I wouldn't say necessarily. On this back. <laughs> I, w- I like, wouldn't say that uh, Levi <laughs> just lets it slide per se. Right. He but, just. But he's like thing. incredibly resilient and very composed yeah. all the time. So he's like, we have more important shit to deal with. I'll yeah. Meet him later with my stuff later. I forgive, mm-hmm. but I don't forget. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Was he's this very, the first very, F-bomb? very, very Stannis Baratheon. F-bomb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that, that, that's in, such in a show. great line. That is where, such a great where line. Levi is like, it's like fuck, you know, like he actually says it. Oh, like, whoa! This is where the first time like, I've ever yeah. seen the F word. I guess you know? there might not be yeah. a lot of swearing. In I don't the show, think there yeah. was any swearing in the show. F bomb should be Falco's nickname. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, you make them. Uh, I see what you they did swore. There. What is? What do you say? They swore oath to my brother, and they swear him to me. I, I will not. I will. I for. I will not forget Sir Davos. <laughs> I will not forget. It's like that. That's kind of that very, uh, very Stannis, very Levi and Stannis oh. that have a lot in common. By the way, how about dim thighs though? The Falco, <laughs> he's got like thick thighs and a booty. I hey, this was CGI. A, a lot of it. It was not. He, the, 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 this this sequence was a lot of CGI, and it was very, very well presented because you couldn't even really tell. Yeah, but a Mappa lot of is, out, Mappa's yeah. CGI anime stuff is is quite good. Yeah. I, I just watched Animusha last night, and it's the, it's not the be, it's not very good. On it, the action Animusha? CGI. Like, the, what is there the, an Animusha Netflix. anime? Oh, it's, Wait, it's that's Netflix. out. Yeah, it's out. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. I need to watch um, it. It's the action's great. The story is sort of just boring, but the the facial is it, expressions is it the terrible. Anamusha story? Like, is it Samanosuke? No, it's, it's, it's it's like this weak villain that doesn't. Uh, really, okay. It's it's no, it's it's um. They have the arm, the gauntlet, and he sucks in demon souls. It it's not bad. It's just they did all hundred percent CGI, and when they're walking, it looks like they're skating on ice skates or something. It just doesn't look appropriate. I don't know. Oh, that's odd. But um. But no, it's, it's, it's weird. I, I've, I've heard nothing about Onimusha. Like, nothing. I know. At people all. are too busy with this and uh, Pluto and other shows right at the moment. So, I guess. So uh, this, I mean, re- realistically, yeah. like, now I've watched both of the Castlevania shows, even though the second one's not very yeah. good. So, uh, Netflix has been recommending the hell out of the Blue Eyed Samurai thing to me, yep. but not, not never Onimusha once. That's weird. Netflix. Weird. What are you doing? <laughs> like, I recommend it. it. It's entertaining, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> So uh, this the, is funny. For this does this funny. remind you of uh, what's it called? Um, Chihiro running down the stairs in Spirited Away. Yes, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> can't control yeah, like, her yeah. momentum. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. I love this run. Just like ah. <laughs> I, I like that she says she wishes she had ODM gear. <laughs> She's like, yeah. oh, I wish I had some ODM gear it myself. Would have been cool see her like someone who actually didn't do any training with ODM gear. That would have been like really really cool. I mean, she's. I think that her her way of just <laughs> ditching her Titan and then reforming it yeah. is almost like her own ODM gear. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. like double she's jumping off her Titan carcass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy. It's, but it's really cool. Like it was, it was very good. It was unique. Yeah. It was something they held back for Peak. They've given Peak a lot of good moments, so I think showing her in a fight to be like, oh yeah, I'm I'm basically Nightcrawler. Like I just yeah. yeah I'm here. Oh no, yeah. I'm not. Now I'm here. Thought you killed me. Guess what? Your bullets over there, and I'm here now. Like it's uh, I liked it. Yeah, it was a bad. So that army scene. gets captured. I think right here, doesn't he, or something? He's been captured. He's yeah. been oh, captured yeah, yeah. already. They're I like I like their. They have a good back and forth. She's like did that thing. She's like, what is it? Oh, like, no, thingy. It's, it's <laughs> that thing over there. <laughs> oh yeah, great line. It's so. I was like, I to- wait. What she was like. Describe it better, and I've totally yeah. been there before with people, and just like, just fucking use your words, like, <laughs> what's your thingy? <laughs> is it a but cow? It was, 
Like it is true. I mean, cow was right. my guess, is. but apparently it's an an okopi. Like okopi. Like, but never, that's, that's so some kind of pig. Okopi. It's a hog of some kind, and I don't know. Look more like cow. a cow to me. Yeah, it looks like. A... Now it has a tongue. Now that's just I don't know. I mean, but pigs like, have tongues, so cows yeah. have tongues. Every yeah. animal has tongues. Has a long tongue though, because it has like. Yeah, a... doesn't every mammal fish. have a tongue? I think so. Know. Fish don't have. It was kind of nice seeing. Fish aren't mammals. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I just, I'm this, this goes back to the uh, whole I I'm not gonna forgive you and I'm not I'm, I might I might say whatever but I'm not gonna forget about it I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna let it go. Wait a minute, what is this? Did I look away at this part? Possibly, Maybe, yeah. Because oh. Levi's flashbacking. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm Petra. Like... <laughs> yeah, there's Petra. Uh, you need a moment, Philip. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh my goodness. And to see her back in full form uh, yeah, again, yeah. I guess, after her dormancy was kind of cool to see her fight. Oh, and this was cooler. That. This is a cooler fight, Amazing. too. This is sick. Yeah, that this throw was terrible. really cool. Amazing throw. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's it's wild because some of this stuff would be like the highlight of a certain episode of the show, but they're all like back to back. And it's just like, you kind of like, forget how awesome Complete she got there. thrown into into like it's so like it's a smart idea because she's you needed to get her oh what, they were chasing Armin right so they had to get mm -hmm. as fast as possible to him and yeah yeah and like yeah, we we've seen the female me. fight and throw people from yeah, their uh, trust me. Odium yeah. gear and kill them so yeah. <laughs> Jojo and and and, and the, uh, what's it called the um, the Beast Titan throws shit all the time mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now we're getting to the big stuff. Oh, when it actually goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. was it's, actually so wild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand what was happening here because I, I I was like, where is he exactly? Yeah. Is this like real or is this in his head or yeah? I thought it was in his head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, it's. Uh, I realistically speaking, I think it's in his head. Yeah, I think that part was yeah. when he's like hitting himself. Yeah, maybe. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Well, until he realizes where he actually is. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The heel kick. Awesome. I feel like you he's know, been in know, a lot of these moments where he yeah. feels frozen. Um, mm -hmm. Not because of him being captured, but he doesn't know what to do. And then he always gets that brilliant moment. Yeah. Well, he's not captain Irwin, or uh i mean he he that he has that too which is like stress of being chosen over him and, and mm -hmm. uh, as a leader yeah. and he's like yeah. he has this like panic attacks sometimes mm -hmm. you know it reminds me of the, the, the it reminds me of uh under the skin oh, oh yeah. the, or, i don't know if you guys have seen out. that <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah i i know exactly what scene you're talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah where it's like the, the void. popping yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a disgusting yeah. scene by the way so Plus, good Carla so good booty. yeah yep but then uh, Get Out, uh, Jordan Peele actually borrowed from that movie and did his own little sunken place. The very, if you watch them side oh, by side, it's yeah. very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which also looks very similar to this as well. Yes. It's, it's but very, it doesn't yeah. have Scarlett Johansson's booty. Nope. nope it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The arm is cute, though. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is tragic. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, the this baby. Is... Really it's okay, baby. It's okay, this baby. Is, this should be in a museum. This scene is amazing, amazing directing. And, and, and my poor baby, God, watching heaven, the deaths. And it's funny because I was thinking about how comparative to Loki when all the TVA timelines were being killed and you didn't see any deaths, you just saw the right. line disappear. And you're like, yeah. oh, there's, there's no wait. Whereas this was there's like, no way. Yeah. Oh. It's... No, they had to show this. They had no choice. This was very. This, yeah. this reminded me of Schindler's List, um, quite a bit. I mean, with mm -hmm. the yeah. on the red dress, um, trying to survive in during the you know the mm -hmm. ghetto invasion where they're killing all yeah. the Jews. And it, 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 these are Jewish people. If you really do the parallel, you know. Yeah, kind of, with the armbands. With the yeah. you know this this mm -hmm. scene where she just get pushed and the baby gets saved and I just all if i was no matter what the baby's headed towards danger, i know so yeah <laughs> but, the, yep. but the, that's beautiful about humanity is like they will they will at, at all cost they will at, they will go keep to it the as last close man to the middle to try to save yeah. that baby yeah, yeah but yeah. it was really beautiful to see i think the black and white with the red is just contrast mm -hmm. like it's yeah. really, really nice yeah, it's nice 
No, I yeah, read the manga part of this. Those list. Yeah, it is. That's what I meant by that. Yeah. Yeah. But but the I saw the manga and then um, which it was interesting. The manga has really good line art sometimes, especially some of the Titans, some of the, but some of the art's not great. And then also this scene in particular is just way better in the anime. Like mm -hmm. this, this show is like the prime example of being of the animation, like increasing the quality of everything, like the storytelling, I think by with the mm -hmm. animation. Well, I mean, it could just be that this yeah. story is better suited to a motion yeah. medium than to yeah. panel. Cinematic. Comic Cinematic. Pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but I mean, I would argue that, say, Watchmen, for example, is a better comic than it is a movie. And That's the movie, true. I think, does a decent job adapting a comic. It just functions oh. much better as a comic book. If nothing yeah. at all, that you have like the interstitial things between the chapters that give you that extra little bit of world building and. You know, I know, but I just can't imagine not having the sound effects and the voice acting and the music and the people crying and the baby crying. Like all of that together is just like it's just better. Yeah, it's it, it's. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's more yeah. effective than it would be reading it in a yeah, manga. So. Yeah, I, I don't know from experience because I've not read this manga, but um, right, right, right. Yeah, I, I can't see this scene functioning as well. No, Vinland Saga is to me, I think, a slightly better manga because the story in villain saga is very slow and straightforward and there's not a lot of now the voice acting is incredible in the music but like the storytelling is pretty much the same and in the, in the manga you do you can sort of pace yourself you can, i don't know i i read it differently than other people maybe i wasn't like trying to binge the entire thing but i don't know villain saga is a good example where the manga is perfect and the show does a little some things well but it's not like dramatically better i don't think yeah so manga reader got another question for you was this extended at all from the manga was there additional lines added additional conversation or was it taken pretty much word for word this and zeke and zeke and armin you talk, you're uh, asking yeah i'm asking okay one. who's uh, the manga reader by the way i don't know who i am and oh, okay go ahead. go ahead um honestly no it's, it's kind of the same um okay. i mean i uh, re let's let's remember i read the manga almost a year ago when the when when it dropped so mm -hmm. if i'm loose on a couple of details that's you know that's that's my fault let let it be like that but uh but no like honestly there's not a whole lot of things that i remember to be like insanely okay. different Okay, that's why I asked because this is one of the more rushed parts of the entire episode. So I was like, "This stinks!" Like they didn't add anything because it seems to just. Whew. So I just wanted yeah. to. I wanted to. I wanted to ask. Yeah, because I I could have done with another two three minutes of conversation between these two, mm -hmm. uh, to really hash out their ideals, uh, because mm -hmm. uh, it seems like he's just like, "Oh, softball." Yeah, you're right, and it's just like that's it. It's like, nah, there should be more conversation about it, but. Mm. but uh, it's not just that. I mean, I, I see I see your point. I see your point. But there is also, like, I think it, yeah, I, I would agree maybe a little bit more time for Seek to come to his realization would have been would have been good. Yeah. But, you know, it's still at the same time, I think um, it's pretty obvious how Seek has had, out of all of them, the most, like, highlighted nuggets of enjoyment of life out of every other character you know like every time he has a moment of happiness he's like always crying about it like passing the ball having a conversation with Aaron he's like crying like oh I have a fi finally a brother like little things like that so yeah I think because with Zeke it seems like he's felt that his role in life has always been so important that he doesn't have time to care about the little things mm -hmm. so that's why the little things get him so hard i think yeah yeah mm -hmm. because it, it was the conversation was very scientific right like hey seek what do you think about life oh well you reproduce you multiply and you die that's that's the that is that is the scientific answer coming from a scientific person and then armin is just like no man life is also about other things and that's when Seek finally comes to the to his senses of like, shit, you're right. Like, I have moments where I've enjoyed life or life itself. Yeah. 
I'm just saying I would have added like a minute, maybe two mm -hmm. of more conversation. Like maybe have Zeke push back on Armin and be like, yeah, but all those insignificant things like, yeah, they bring joy in the short term. But long term, what do they actually function as? It's nothing. It Ultimately, mm -hmm. it is meaningless. And Armin's be like, no. And then he pushes right back at Zeke. I just would have liked a little bit more back and forth is all I'm saying. I would have liked a bit more. Yeah you know, them butting heads a little bit. It, it seems like Armin just kind of brings it up and Zeke's like, you know what? You're right. And I'm like, nah, yeah. okay. Clash. Yeah. I, I see it. Yeah. 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 Like I, I, I do like the, um, the fact that he realizes like, because Armin's is a lot younger and you know, he's, he's more like just analytical and he finds out that like, you know, that's little, the little things in life is what makes it great. Right. And I, I do like that moment where he realizes, but yeah, I do agree with you uh, that if there was a little bit more, I want it. Yeah. Maybe like a minute, but I do also want it like a little bit more of a minute of them talking to the previous like, like um, you know, Titan holders and stuff like that. Like I would like them. Oh, maybe yeah, they don't have a voice anymore. I would have mm -hmm. liked to see the convincing. That would have been nice of them, because that was such a turnaround for a great moment. Because I was just like, uh, excuse me, did Berthold just save them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I guess it was kind of a nice reveal in that sense once we saw them all. And it was so nice seeing literally all the previous Titans they knew protecting them. Mm hmm And you that that's uh that's one thing that the internet has really not liked at all. Um like uh there's this YouTuber whose video I watched uh yesterday, and he was talking about that it didn't make sense, that it just so happens that only this other titans came to help like that, that was his thing he said oh it just di didn't no like I i'm trying to like you mean, like the friends it makes yeah. perfect sense that those are the titans that would help them Ex exactly the other uh, ones yeah. don't have any idea who they are yeah. <laughs> yeah no like i i think it makes sense but i'm i'm kind of with um um my mind just blanked who was talking about the additional scene of them talking to the x-ray girl why the heck did I, I oh my god okay so like i i think that that's the problem they had is that there wasn't enough of that like conversation where they like really hash it out with these guys and it seems it's just like hey lend us your strength and they're like yeah okay yeah. again I, I i could have taken another five minutes in this space like i just like these characters talking with each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like i i get a lot out of i would have i hell i would have taken entire episode of just Zeke. like my favorite episode mark when we were watching fate zero if you remember my favorite episode was when um rider uh gilgamesh and saber were all just talking and it's 20 minutes yeah. of them just having a conversation about like kingship and rulership and what it takes to rule no action it's just them talking and i'm like yeah Man. it's a really good episode yeah mm -hmm. so i i could have taken a whole episode of these two motherfuckers just talking about shit i'm like, fate Man. zero is a masterpiece i yeah. love fate zero my favorite ending of any anime is Fate Zero. I mm. love that ending. It is That's so pretty good. damn good. Every character is a great, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'd watch it again. Yeah. So, what did you guys think this was implying here when he talks about Ymir? Because he's like, she did what she could to escape the pain of experiencing it, fear. She created a stronger, bigger, immortal body. What did you guys think that was referring to, like implying? Um. I have to think about this. Well. Uh, I would I would pretty much call it uh, I mean the way I see it is the way the symbiote reacts to Eddie Brock or the symbiote reacts to Cletus Cassidy uh, the life form that gave birth to Titans wasn't a Titan just as much as the symbiote is not venom or carnage once it attaches to the host the host gives its the symbiote a a certain amount of power to an extent a venom can't rip his arms off and use it as weapons like carnage but both of them are symbiotes you know what i mean so i think once this life force merged with emir the the symbiote in this case saw what emir emir wanted yeah and was like i'm gonna give you the power because i am all about adapting i'm all about multiplying i want to survive i'm an organism that wants to live yeah much like how falco became a bird <clears throat> because he mm -hmm. sort of wanted to not possibly. well not i get in a way yes but yeah. he was also mixed with the beast titan, beast titan yeah, powers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so 
but I do think it reads their sort of chemistry and their their desire. Their, not the chemistry. It, it sort of reads some of their will power a little bit, especially Ymir. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the creature. The creature is like irrelevant. Don't you think? I uh, I'm not interested in where that thing came from or what it is. I want. Well, I, I think this is the wanna, explanation. I don't want to know what it came from, like this planet Xenu, when it, you know, it, I don't <laughs> want to know about that. It's, um, it's a mysterious entity that just is there for for some reason, and it's it's the El yeah. it's the Elden Beast, the physical manifestation yeah. of the Elden Ring. Well, I thought I thought uh, Sensei, as well as this conversation, kind of more or less confirms that it was a thing that wanted to spread and multiply and survive. Yeah. So it's just a creature mm -hmm. that was yeah. just there. Yeah. And Ymir just so happened to fall into it. So it is just happenstance. So, Cause I was like, is it just happenstance or it wasn't yeah. on purpose? And I was like, okay, although well, to be fair, it might not well, be happenstance. Which well, we'll get into. well, that I have to, I have to say this because Ymir discovered this thing because she was running away from a bunch of dogs mm -hmm. chasing her. And uh, the very ending of this show, the epilogue, there's a dog and a boy, mm -hmm. and it's like, <clears throat> That's I, a good poll. I don't know if this is it's just supposed to be symbolic or whatever, but it's like, I'm not saying dogs are the thing, but is it yeah. happenstance or is Puppies. it Ooh. is it like um, all connected in some sort of ethereal spiritual way? I think Jojo jo says yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I, mean, I, I think it implies that it's a cycle. Well, when Aaron and Armin have their conversation. I'm saying, is there some sort of There's under a... like spiritual component to this kind? Of, oh, now to this sort of um, cyclical thing where is now you were saying, is it, is it, what was the word you used? Um, happenstance. Happenstance mm -hmm. or like coincidence? I don't know. I don't, I, I think. I don't think that's answered. I don't think it. We, we we're supposed to know that. So Don't I'm gonna. I'm going to posit that it everybody. is answered. I'm going to posit that it was answered and that it was in fact on purpose. That 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 it was on purpose. Maybe it. Ah. Yeah. So I I think the key to this whole thing is like the pheromones. Like it has some sort of pheromones that it's drawing her into the tree. Or well, there's a the conversation that Aaron and Armin have that we're going to get into. I think really. Lays it clear. Or could anyone have fallen into that tree and it happened to be Historia and it and it and it um, I mean the, happened to give her yeah the, the whole point of the kid going into the tree yeah. with the dog yeah, yeah, yeah. um honestly and this is as 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 clear I think as I could, uh, as I would be able to put it based on everything because it, let's not forget and th and this is something that I think is very critical for this yeah. series this is a story that gives a message through yeah. the characters. This is not a story that gives um, the characters a meaning for the characters to have their own story. This is a story-based right. story, not a character-based story. So one of the points of Attack on Titan, just as we saw at the very end, that yeah. humanity, whether they have the power of the Titans or not, they will find a way to fuck themselves yes. up through violence because humans are just aggressive conflicting creatures yes. so the boy coming to the tree i in my opinion is just to drive again the point of yep. everything is a cycle shit will repeat or like as the great ian uh ian malcolm said life finds a way right i agree i am the ending is just a, a nice uh metaphorical ending it's like it's a it's a cyclical ending it's it's mm -hmm. not supposed to be a hint at some sort of baruto sequel <laughs> yeah, uh, no. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> oh no aliens um <laughs> i don't i don't think he's gonna find the titan down there i think aaron you know got got rid of them the last um, of us I titan just, yeah and and if they do another thing in the titan universe in the future and maybe i think I it would be a, a lame I, yeah, because because wouldn't it like undermine the whole purpose of like the cycle? Because then mm -hmm. then you're gonna have to explain how the cycle is broken, or if it's not broken, you're just the ending is predictable and it's less meaningful. It's repetitive. Yeah, yeah no, it would be like, a bad idea to ever do anything with this property yeah. again. Don't yes. touch it. hundred percent. They they should never do it. You I can mean, do prequel stuff, but that's about it. 
Right. Like mm. Evangelion, it just kind of does it now. It, Evangelion did a re, what's it called? Uh, like a remaster, remaster, or whatever. But it didn't like continue really. The, it, he he fixed whatever he wanted to do with that story, but he did another cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, if there's anything Attack on Titan that I would love to see, it's just like the last episode, like seeing the cadets being cadets, just being friends and like experiencing yeah. a couple of things. And that's it. Like a couple of five episodes of just them as cadets. And that's it. Kind of like how they had the extra episodes that we had yeah. watched. Yeah. Like yeah. a little slice of life just to just yeah. to have a little bit more comfort. Like, oh, yeah, they were kind of happy at some point. You know, like, There's a schoolyard uh, series with Aaron um, having a dream about a zombie apocalypse. Did you guys read that one? No. Schoolyard. <laughs> it's, it's the school. It's called Attack on Titan. Uh, Isayama wrote it. Um, you know what I'm talking about? It's actually kind of important. <laughs> the, there is a there is an anime that's like Attack on Titan Junior High or something like that. Yeah, the, you've seen it, right? Uh, well, I can't uh, remember I know. If that's the one I'm talking about. But Aaron oh. has a dream. Aaron is bored and he hates life because it's boring. And he's uh, has this dream where there's a zombie apocalypse, and he has to, and he has to like sort of defend humanity and like break break you know this oppressive zombie apocalypse and he, he wakes up from it and he's like depressed because life is boring and he wants life to be more like that that kind of suffering dream that he just had and he says well if if life is boring and th there's not anything i can do about it maybe i can make life not boring and it's sort of hinting at him have like sort of <laughs> embracing this rumbling kind of you know pr prophetic kind of thing where where he wants to be the uh the catalyst for the destruction of the world so that he can also save it and it's like it's sort of a parallel a lot of people drew parallels to his character and saying that even in an alternate timeline he still has this personality which is like it, it gets into the we'll talk about the timeline stuff i it's too complicated but i mean i think because it's 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 kind of like all this like attack on titan junior high and like all yeah. all these other stories like the lost episodes and stuff like that where they touch on like uh different type of different different types of uh, universes or whatever i think they're not necessarily that a uh, vital or anything to to the to the main plot line because it it's very clear yeah. that isayama has like it, this is one story and it doesn't have like you can have your what ifs if you want to but ultimately this is this is what happens and this is why it happens yeah yeah i look forward to seeing just what he's doing next if he just makes makes a whole new story sleep <laughs> i want him to <laughs> sleep I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well he, he's probably been sleeping since uh since he finished attack on titan so that, i don't know i think it would be cool to see what this guy thinks up next after you know, mm -hmm. thinking up Attack on Titan, which so this is the last very panel an interesting of that show. zombie. The last panel of that zombie thing I was talking about. It's in the back of every manga. There's like a little chapter that he releases every week, every every volume. Mm -hmm. The last sentence is, uh, he wakes up from this the, from the dream. He said, "What a stupid dream. There's no way humanity could be at risk of getting wiped out. Uh, I can't take this <laughs> boring life anymore." And then he says. Wait a second. If there isn't, uh, he says, it's all because of that dream about the zombies. He said, wait a second. If there isn't any risk of that, why don't I create one myself? A crisis that will cause the destruction of humanity. Mm. And it's Jeez. this morbid, <laughs> it's this morbid like fascination with like creating a, dis a like a world-ending event so that he can be the savior of it. And it sort mm. of parallels the story of Attack on Titan a little bit. You crazy, Aaron. But, yeah, Aaron, yeah. shut the yeah. fuck up, man. <laughs> Get out of the hot topic for once. <laughs> yeah. The so ultimate much. edge lord. Yeah. And uh, can we talk about that for a second? Um because I've been just like itching to to talk about that. One of the mm -hmm. main one of the main uh complaints that everyone has well, that everyone that hated the ending has, was that they say, I, I, I guess I, I should shut up about this because we are going to get to the point where Armin and Aaron talk and Aaron has his mm -hmm. breakdown and everything. So you know what? I'll, I'll shut yeah, up yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and we'll we'll get to it. I assume you're referring to his beta moment, which is pretty funny. 
the the exactly <laughs> that wording, the beta moment, which is something that I completely disagree. Yeah, people don't but, understand Aaron's character. Yes, oh, honestly, man. that's that's what it is. But let's continue. We'll get to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, but I, you know, um, yeah. Um, this was such a sad moment because I thought they were all going to die, of course, again. <laughs> yeah, like when you've got like six Warhammer Titans staring you down, yeah. what do you even do? Yeah. Well, Reiner, then... Reiner is having his Boromir moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man, what a tragic I mean, point. poor Peek, her arm's like bitten <laughs> off or something, and she's like, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get back in the fight as soon as this happens. Well, then there was the part where he tells, calls Jean his countryman, his captain, his king. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was, I remember that. I was like, dang, that was a good team. Oh, my God. Come here. I can't believe they got Hugo. Uh, no, not Hugo. Weaving. <laughs> Viggo Mortensen, the guest voice. Yeah. Man, that was great. Oh, yeah. Ymir. Oh, man. What a tragic character. She was killed, right? For, for yep. being yeah. a traitor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she did it to save Historia. I like her a lot. Um, she doesn't get enough attention either. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Oh my God! In this shot, this shot. Yeah. yeah. I still hate her. Por Porco, Porco eats her, right? Uh, yeah, because he he yeah. gets the jaw yeah. tightened from her. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's also. I do like that. It... So maybe that's why, like the the fan nice. are just like, ah, it's off limits. Yeah. I I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't let that stop you, boys. Your fantasies are your own. Well, yeah. I do like that Levi is stabilizing her, by the way, because she has such a small frame. Like, mm -hmm. I assume that's at least a 50 cal because it looks like an anti-material rifle. Like, he's just, just based on. Her. Yeah, he's like, holding her. He's holding her down, like stabilizing this is bigger her. than her Between gun. Falco and just being small. That would be so hard to shoot. Well, yeah. Because it's not a recoilless rifle because it was a recoilless. So I should be holding it completely differently because she's got she's still got the stock. So I would well, assume it's the same a 50 rifle cal, at least. that she shot Aaron with, right? Is it a different, much smaller one, that one? I think I Le Levi's just about to act as a suspension. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. She's already proven to be an expert marksman. And yep. she, um, that's my favorite part. I keep saying it's my favorite part. It is, it's one of my favorite parts ever is when she shoots Aaron's head off and then Zeke catches it. It's so dramatic. It's so epic. Dramatic. Yeah. Like, and oh, my epic. God. It's yeah. so insane. I mean, she almost um, stopped the rumbling right there. I know. Yeah, I know. she almost mm -hmm. did. Yeah. But it wasn't enough. Nope. And look at this love oh, yeah, This birds. moment. This mm -hmm. moment. Uh, She's going to stay in that uh, form when they do it. I know, that's <laughs> right. They don't have any holes, though. Mm. Yeah. Get true. inside of me. He can make one. He can he can Aaron will make do. <laughs> just just no get in my mouth, Armin. Don't think yeah. about it. Get in my mouth now. <laughs> just make that Aaron's bonus dead. hole. Oh, bonus my hole. God. <laughs> I mean, Aaron did survive in one of the Titan's stomach for, like, God knows mm -hmm. how long before yeah. he transformed. Mm-hmm. God, and this is this is oh, one of my favorite scenes. Was this was a really good scene. Oh my god, because like, you knew it was gonna happen. To yeah, but he's like, I, I wasn't, I didn't want to see you though. You know, yeah. So the good. acceptance I, in his face. Is yeah, just so just sad. Like, my guy finished. You have the shot of you, Levi and doing the killing him, or no? Can no. can you can we go back to the Zeke thing for a second? Sure. Um. I asked, like, you know, me and my brother were trying to, oh, we couldn't figure it out. Okay. Do you think that Levi was, okay, what, what was his primary motivation here? Do you think it was revenge? Or do you think it was, he had Stop. to kill him because of the rumbling? Oh, yeah. uh, rumbling 100%. Oh, he yeah. had to kill him too. He killed the. Uh... But he oh, desperately oh, yeah. wanted to kill him. No, no, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah. But. For but Levi though he's he's a soldier so for him his his objective is the primary goal and the icing on the cake is the fact that he really wants to kill this guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, he just killed so many of his comrades. But the but reason Levi, that he, he didn't even like let him talk all that much is he's just yeah. like yeah no no like I kill this guy it's over boom heads off done. But yeah. I still think. <laughs> He he wouldn't even have let him talk if it if it, if it didn't matter because he fucking hates his guts. <laughs> yeah, no, he. I uh, think he would have died quicker if Levi yeah. wasn't so far away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, check the Levi's check the private chat. Limited by time and space. Yeah. I I sent you guys uh, something uh, that I think you will appreciate. 
Okay. I'll have to check it later. Oh, oh that's dang. so that's quick. Dang. Where's my Here, I'll share it. Here? I'll share it. Open link in new tab. Oh my god. That's oh, so cool. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. Man, they're uh, fast. Oh, there you go, honey. That Cheaper than so the Nero Automata statue. This so freaking yeah. quick. I mean, they um, probably had it ready. They probably to go. knew it. Yeah, they, they've the had market. it for a minute. They've had it for a minute, but holy I shit. would buy the hell out of that. Wow. Yeah. Which one? Oh, that, it's that a deposit, nice. full payment. Oh, oh okay. my god. There's so many of these. Oh my god. Don't tempt me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, I don't know. You gotta. You gotta really pick the ones of these to pull the trigger on because they yeah, really don't serve any function. They just look really nice. I already have no. the cost That's that. the point of statues. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I have a really cool art print I got at Matsuri of um, Aaron talking to his father in the past. It's like a. It's uh -huh. the best depiction of that scene I've ever seen. It's this amazing mm. artist. Yeah. And um, I've never seen it depicted before. It's just I was mm -hmm. like, that's a cool idea for an art print. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's really good. I just it's, shame. Really it's a shame Berthold can't talk back because I, I I would have been interested to see what he had to say to Armin. Yeah, like I mean, they didn't I didn't have a voice actor, maybe. The, well, I mean, <laughs> that, that, that disappointed me a little bit. Like I do, I do kind of wish we got a bit more out of the dead people, even if it was just yep. a few words. Because I think yeah. that yeah. I think just that you could words. say a lot with Berthold talking to Armin with one sentence. This yep. was such an intense <laughs> scene, too. Mm -hmm. Like, it just. Bro, the like, whole episode was intense. I could barely breathe. Like hate and love there. Again, if Bird, I think. If Birdhold just said the words, take care of Annie, that would have. That'd be perfect. Like, yeah. That'd be perfect. That would have been. Oh, so good. Honestly, I, like, think... I know you have my memory, so I know you're in love with her, even if you didn't want to be. And yeah, no. So yeah. you love her as much as I do. Take care of her. Again, Dude, like, we, I... we would have known that if you just said take care of Annie if we watched the show and paid attention, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get, I get, I, again, I like this episode, but again, like another minute with Armin and Zeke kind of clashing their ideologies and maybe another minute of these guys just talking little, just a little bit again, like one sentence. Yeah, that would have been perfect. That's all you need. You don't need to add like five minutes, just like 60 seconds, yeah. a little bit extra dialogue mm -hmm. would have greatly improved it. I think, but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, Zeke has a I feel a great... like you can say that about, almost any anything um i've yeah. had that thought about death note but i just recently <sighs> read the whole manga i was like there could be an extra explanation or two as to like some of the shit's really rushed yeah um and confusing especially towards the end with but and the, I, you could say that about anything like oh this sh this is a really good manga but it could be better with like an extra panel or two like yeah it doesn't really bother me too much but well, no, it's yeah, not a massive know, but, deal, I mean, but it gonna, is like if we're if we're gonna analyze yeah. this and yeah. like I like I think oh, that's, yeah, well, that was that's a good a fair point. thing to say that like yeah, that's true. I mean, it, like it, I'm not saying just oh yeah. now we should have 15 minutes of bird hold. It's <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> it's no like I think I think a lot could be said in one night because I think knowing that because I think that is probably the likely assumption yeah. as to what they understood between each other, but mm -hmm. You could just as easily make the argument that Bird holds like, yeah, I'll never forgive you for killing me. Yeah. I mean, he could have said that too. I think that would have sucked. But <laughs> whether it's downright <laughs> lovely. <laughs> or he could have just said, yeah. Yeah, I, I or he could have just said, like, make my like make my life worth it. Like make my life worth something. Make my day, mm -hmm. but you know, like like make what I did. Yeah. I, I think the only day. way they could have ruined it is if Bird Hold said something really petty. Like, yeah, that would have like, been stupid. Like, I, been like, okay, well, I, I don't love that. Because I honestly, I honestly all... think if he said like "take care of Annie" for the both of us, I think that would have been perfect. Then he's saying, "Yeah, else. that I agree." I there is a danger of of resorting every character's dialogue to the most cliche thing you can have them say, and it's like it becomes then it becomes sort cheesy. of unrealistic and cheesy. Like they wouldn't I mean, really. Wouldn't, not everybody I... would have the perfect thing to say at, the, at like the perfect moment, you know. Well, I mean, but they would have yeah. been dead for a while and thinking about it in the Eldian yeah. void, you know? Like, yeah. I, I think they probably would have exactly what they wanted to say figured out. And also, yeah, like, you have to remember, Ber Berthold was a man of few words when he was alive. Yeah. So he probably would have only said a sentence to Armin anyway. But anyway, yeah. this was great. Booty. I fucking love this. When he's just oh like, my God. <laughs> I, I, it, I love it. Like, the weather is downright lovely, you know? He's like, I you know, felt this way sooner, you know? He's like rimming well, this right yeah, before it He comes. also right, does know example. he's he knows he's getting out here to die though, right? Yeah. So like he, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is an example of him just kind of being in the moment, being for sort of zen mm -hmm. because he's about to die. Might as well enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, he knows it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Man, Zeke is a tragic character. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sort of. Yeah. He had a hard he, life from the very beginning, you know, with his Zeke parents. and Aaron. It's a somebody who did the best video I've ever seen on this anim, on this anime. It has like three million views. It's called you. It's the video is called "You Will Think of Aaron Differently After Watching This" or something. That's the title, and it's an hour and a half long video essay about like the philosophy of this show. And he points out that Zeke and Aaron are are essentially polar opposites where Aaron is raised by his nature of being a sort of psychopath and Zeke is sort of nurtured and everything Zeke does throughout the show is in the ca causal relationship to what other people are doing. He doesn't really have his own, like he's just trying to prevent something from happening or whatever. Aaron is the one that it's like nature versus nurture. There's this whole thing that goes into it, but Aaron's the one that's sort of willing everything into existence. But with his yeah. nature, with like the, just who he is. Like Aaron is, this is yeah. who he is, you know? Aaron is a psychotic yeah. libertarian. That's yeah. <laughs> yep. Speaking of uh, videos, I'm glad I, like, I'm finally going to be able to watch the Aaron is not free video. I'm really glad I asked you, Sensei. I was like, hey, I saw this video I'm recommended. Should I watch it? And you're like, no, 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 I no, saw no, that. no. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. I saw that. You're like, do not watch that video. And I was like, oh, good. So I Aaron. can finally watch it tomorrow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this that's the one I was talking about. It's the hour. To, that's exactly what I was just referencing. It's amazing. Oh, the Aaron is not free. Yes. Okay. It's incredible. I'm, I'm oh, I was so happy in this moment. I like that the color came back. That was cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, should I watch that video also? Oh yeah, dude. It is. Okay. It's like the best video essay I've seen on anime. <laughs> it's really good. It. I saw it on my feed. I'll probably check it out after. Yeah. Um, people are going back and saying, like, now that they finished the show, they're watching it again. It has a bunch of new comments, mm -hmm. but it just dives into Aaron psychology, and it's it goes into philosophy, like determinism and stuff, where essentially this whole world is a very deterministic world, which means that like everything is already it's not fate because fate is like a supernatural kind of thing. It's just everything will happen based on the past, and and causing causal relationships between other things. There's like there is essentially no free will in this universe um and it, or there's an illusion of it and mm -hmm. that's kind of that is sort of hard to grapple with but uh it's yeah mm -hmm. it's deep. Well, I, I think this show does a good job of um uh what would be the word for it opining i don't know thinking mm -hmm. through dialogue and monologue yeah. inner monologue in particular and characters yes about philosophical questions or meditating without, on philosophical questions yeah, yeah that's that's maybe a good word for it yeah. without really coming to clear answers about exactly. it but i think it's done in a way that you can uh, assuming that it's relatively close to the manga i'm, I'm just i'm yeah. assuming yeah, that is the case that isayama wasn't necessarily convinced of his position on some of these metaphysical questions. Right. And he's he's thinking about it through yeah. his writing. And, exactly. they, and you know, I like I, I like that. I dig that. I could see I love that. I could easily see people finding it pretentious and being annoyed by it and, and being like, yeah, this isn't my kind of show. And I, I appreciate that, but uh but I like that kind of stuff. I mean, that's what a, that's what a great artist does and a great thinker. That's what they they, they they think through their art and they they express themselves and they're they're not claiming to be correct. I mean it, I, he would even say I think that in, it, this, this is a fictional world, right? So in his mm -hmm. world, whether or not this world has no free will or not, like it seems to not have any free will at all. And every and people, it's just an illusion. And, and if you happen to see your future, it you can't prevent it. But he's not saying that's our world. He's just pre, 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 he, he's thinking about these. He's probably depressed, honestly. That's possible. I guess. Yeah. I guess what I was saying is there's yeah. that even if he were right clear about his position on things and trying to preach you could say like taking mm -hmm. a clear stance and advocating for it i wouldn't yeah. necessarily think that would make it bad even if i didn't agree with it but right. i i like that yeah this this show is really about the question more than the answer it, yeah. it's about the mm -hmm. question and some thought experiments as as like action through the scenarios that we see on the show even things like the Eldians and the the Marleans just being at the same encampment 
And once right. everything's kind of over, I mean, I guess we're skipping ahead a bit there, but you know, the Merlins have guns on them because they're like, hey, like we, you yeah. can turn into Titans again any second, so we should just shoot you. And it's like, well, mm. what, what? How would this go? And and I mean, granted, that's a climax of the entire ep- show yeah. scene, but uh, there's a lot of that stuff happening throughout the entire show, where it's mm. just, oh, wait. and now that you get different context to be like, well, now that you've seen the other side of this and you know what these people are doing, you know what their goals are, you know what their orders are, you know what they've been taught their entire lives. Do you still blame them for these actions? And sometimes the answer is yes. And sometimes the answer will be different depending on the viewer. And I, I I like that. I enjoy it. Yeah. That's very well put. And like Gabby too, like when they, I think this show is going to be analyzed for decades, like much like Mm -hmm. Evangelion, but I think it's, I think it's going to be a legend. Like the legacy is going to be insane. With this show, but but Gabby's perspective too, when they introduced her is like as like a parallel to Aaron, it suddenly like made you. Well, some people were like, "Oh, go Aaron," based genocidal maniac, but like it <laughs> really was actually showing you how fucked up Aaron was from <clears throat> from the perspective of somebody who actually was very similar to Aaron, right, Gabby, um, and she had similar motivations, um, but she's not the same as Aaron. She doesn't have I don't know. Like Aaron is much. Uh, it, it's it's hard to kind of compare the two. But Gabby saw her friends die in front of her. Gabby killed Sasha because of Aaron. Same same reason, really, why Aaron sort of wanted to kill the Titans, right? And and then the yeah. Marlians. Um, but I think her motivations were more clear. Yeah. Like, throughout her character arc, whereas for him, we're like wondering, oh my god, is he actually right. a good guy or a bad guy? Did eventually, he want to genocide everybody. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, but not except, based. Absolutely not no, based. No, no, no. <laughs> like for people. It's for pathetic. Gabby, like she, um, I, I, I'm not sure what, what you know, like, like m- maybe what, uh, you know, Sensei said like earlier, if they actually had like more like a day to day kind of thing. Like when, when they were kids, like when they were being brought up, like when, when they're not in the survey course yet uh, right. or anything, like were they taught that these Marlians are evil, right? Because the Marlians were indoctrinated as a young age, as like these. These paradise people are evil people. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's indoctrination. That's different than a person's uh, morality. I think. Mm-hmm. I think Aaron has always been this sort of animal, animal instinct, um, uh, a bird trapped in a cage, or angry dog trapped on a leash, or whatever. And I think Aaron's morality is unhinged. And I don't think it matters whether or not he is indoctrinated or not i mean mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. he did spend a bunch of time with these people with the marlians and realized that they were the same fucking people as yeah. the pair people from paradise and he was just like well yeah everybody i, I realize these are not my enemies however i'm gonna kill them anyway and it's like yeah. i don't think just, gabby would do that i don't think no she would do that. no and aaron, aaron as we know his motivation in the end was to save the people of paradise but the way he did it was so backwards thinking that that was going to save them but yeah you know i think people uh, and one of the like a lot of criticisms that people yeah. have with aaron come to the point of people just don't get the fact that aaron is a human like i think we are used to like a lot of people are used to the like uh, what i'm going to call for the sake of our argument the demon slayer effect you have Tanjiro, who's good because he's just good. He's Captain America, goody goody two shoes, and there's not much to it. And then you have Musan, who's like evil as fuck. Why? Because he's evil. That's it. Period. You have your evil guy and your good guy. Attack on Titan is not yeah. like that. Isayama doesn't write 2D characters, he writes no. 3D, 4D characters that they are yeah. very complex very intricate Mm -hmm. that have different motivations and a lot of people are like well the hero would never do that bitch he he's not the hero he is himself (laughs) you know so um so that that's that i think that in order to understand really a lot of the things that are happening you need to understand that these characters are flawed every single one of them yeah now, somebody in chat said the difference is Gabby wasn't given power. I don't know if that's true. I don't think I don't think Isayama's trying to say that anybody given a certain amount of power will genocide the planet. I don't think he's trying no. to say that. No, I think no. he's 
I think he's also combining that power with somebody who has the the mental sort of um, the uh, the psychology of someone like Aaron. Some people are born this way, or that that this is their sort of predetermined mental like path. Like some, yeah. there are people out there that believe that you that you that psychopaths yeah. <laughs> at a very young age. It's not really nurture in, in the same way as it's their nature, and and, and it's, yeah. it's it's well, it's not necessarily. Yeah. And I can't remember oh, shit. I can't remember um, the name of this mayor. He's the mayor of Chicago, and um, he's he, he um did a lot of redlining in the city of Chicago. He did a lot of uh, stuff with minorities, and I assume you guys know what redlining is. Um, and yeah. someone said that, um, you know, the, you know, pe people were like, oh, he, it's cause he got power. Cause he got power, power corrupts. Absolutely. And I can't remember the name of this guy who, he was a journalist who, who wrote about this guy. And he said, but that's not really true. Is it? He said, power does not corrupt. Absolutely. Power just reveals the person you always were mm -hmm. because yeah, power yeah. gives you, because power gives you the ability to do what you always wanted to do, but simply mm -hmm. were not able to power well, does not corrupt power reveals. Yeah, I well, agree on that one. I agree. So, yeah. Well, even that though is complicated because Ymir couldn't do what she wanted to do. I mean, no, uh, no she. It, that's she that's the love. thing. She yeah. she could have, she, she could, could have, have done it, but she chose not. She, to, I mean, let okay, let, let yeah. let's draw let's draw to uh to real life because okay. I think Isayama writes characters that come with real life. You know, yeah. uh, so how many times have you been? in a relationship, whether it's yeah. a friendship or uh, your girlfriend or something like that, where you want to do something, but because you don't want to accept them or you want to do right. something, like, you don't do it. You have the choice to do it, but you don't do it. And Ymir is victim of, like, one of the most clear examples of a toxic-ass relationship. Yeah. And Stockholm you Syndrome. Of, uh, Stockholm yeah. Syndrome, yeah. Well, I got to say, the first time X-Ray Girl cut my head off to stop the genocide I was <laughs> carrying out, that's when I knew she was the one. Yeah. yeah. Like a mantis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mark is a cyborg, so we just keep replacing yeah, Mark yeah. as needed. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very modifiable. And why are Modular, people upset with Ymir's uh, revelation? I heard a lot of pe manga readers are saying it's cringe that she has Stockholm Syndrome, and I'm like, why? It happens all the time, though. That's <laughs> yeah, the like, crazy the part. Fuck? Like, I'm telling you, a lot of these legit normal manga readers are stupid. <laughs> I, I think well, because I don't have enough experience to know this. <laughs> I, th I think because people use Stockholm syndrome oftentimes as like a riding crutch, and and it comes yeah. up a little too often, so people are like, "Ugh." They, it's kind of they're predisposed to eye roll when it shows up, regardless of how well Why? or how poorly it's implemented. Usually, because it is implemented yeah. somewhat often, and because it's not a real medical thing, like Stockholm syndrome does not exist. It's not a real right. Thing. Well, um, yeah, it's a psychological the, thing. The, well, the DSM-5, the, 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 this, they haven't ever acknowledged it as being real. Um, it's something. Last it's it's yeah. a trauma regardless. You, trauma. you can, yeah. you can it, call it whatever you want. It's a trauma yeah. that happens. You know, well, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just she had the most extreme version of that, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Like, think about uh, being here. I mean, you could call it traumatic attachment, and that would probably be more accurate. I think That's the tricky okay. thing with okay, the DSM yeah, yeah. thing of being Stockholm Syndrome, it's like... The syndrome isn't a diagnosis, so it doesn't exist. But traumatic traumatic attachment does exist. It it yes. happens to people in just normal ass relationships. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. girl it, was suffering through her childhood. She didn't know anything but torture. So somehow she gets a little bit of something that yeah. cuts the attention of a uh, of a person that she seems as like in a higher power. And this person gives her just a tiny, like a sand grain of attention. She thinks it's love. She's like, hey, yep. I, 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 I need to do whatever I can to satisfy this person. And if you've never been in that position ever in your life, you need yeah, to go outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, just FYI. And and I think she's, she was relatively young and it was her, you know, like this Very is your much. first, you usually imprint onto your first relationship. Yeah. She it doesn't matter like how bad it is. <laughs> like, yeah. Fucking kid. And this is the primary. You remember to imprint on your last kids one. kids with this guy too. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah. you do love your kids and it ends up being that crazy person is the father. 
And you I'm know, like, a lot of people oh they, they say like, oh well, how did she like even um yeah how did she connect it with, with Mikasa? How how was Emir like by looking at Mikasa? And it's like because Mikasa is also in technically a very toxic ass relationship. Yeah. But even though mm. she loves Aaron the way Emir loves King Frizz, well, I mean Mikasa, he has if Aaron has green eyes and intense well, eyebrows, how can you not love well, that? I mean, there you go. Uh, wow. But <laughs> Aha, you got that. See? Yeah. She gets it. There's so much going on with, with Ymir's relationship with Aaron, and it's like, it's very, I need to watch this entire show again before I feel comfortable talking about it. But basically, um, yeah, there's an interesting relationship with Ymir sort of controlling Aaron's Aaron because of her her... her infinite time loop sort of power sort of refusing to end her her refusal to fucking end everything which she could if she mm -hmm. wanted to am i wrong about that i think she could she could just uh, do what aaron did and destroy the so. titan well i mean it, that's kind of what happens right so like, aaron is sort of also locked into this inescapable time loop thing mm -hmm. and it's like but it's but it's what? well no but wait, isn't wait, it because wait, wait. she no. gave him the power to, i mean i would say she has some responsibility. I'm not saying Aaron is not responsible. I'm saying he, this is that's who he is. He's a psychopath. He just would have. He's these. But I'm wondering if I interpreted was, the ending wrong. No, 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 no. Ymir, Ymir does not have any say on what's happening. What, she is well, just well, a vessel for the power. The one hmm. that is acting here is Aaron. Hmm. Th that's it. But because. Isn't the thing that makes the Titan well, power well, disappear when she sees Mikasa kill Aaron and then kisses his head? No, I mean, right. the thing disappears because they kill Aaron. So they kill every single, like, circuit that, like, every single connector to to Emir to, like, for this thing to have a host okay. is killed off. Oh. Like, like let, let's think about it in the symbiote way. Okay, so the, yeah, no, no, I get it. So yeah, but like literally, Ymir has nothing. Like she has no power per se. She has the power, but she's not in control of the power. She lended mm. the power to Aaron. Oh, Aaron. So yeah. Aaron is the one huh. in control. Uh, okay. So oh, Aaron, okay. there's a scene in where he rips his arms off to go because he's stuck in, in he's talking to Zeke, and he ripped. He goes to talk to uh, Ymir and begs her to like give her yeah her power, and she does, and she has. I'm just wondering, like, what, how much control over this does he have over her? Yeah, because the because Armin looks um, at her and he's like, "Oh, this must be her will as well, or something like that." So I thought that she had something to do with it. I mean, or was they, Armin mistaken? No, they no, they, they agree on their oh. like that's how Aaron convinced Ymir, because Ymir was not going to give the power; she was only going to lend the power to Seek because he had royal blood coming from King Fritz. And then this guy comes around and it's like, uh, so who are you? Like, why should I do anything for you? But then once Aaron talked to her and was like, hey, check this out. She was like, you know what? You make a good freedom, point. Freedom, baby. Here's, here's, <laughs> here's, like here's my power. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. So yeah. when when Armin sees her, it's like, oh, this must be her will too. It's mostly like implied of like, this is what she would have wanted to or like she agrees with what Aaron is is doing right now you know what i mean mm -hmm. but yeah Ymir is just the vessel for the power she had nothing to to do or to say um because everyone like let's remember also Aaron does say like i could do everything i wanted but i'm gonna give you guys the free will to do what you want if you want to do whatever you want i'm going to retaliate but uh, otherwise, I think Ymir would have done way more to prevent anything from happening. But the one in control was Aaron. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't control. He was he was completely in control of okay. his own actions. But mm -hmm. it's just the power he was given forced him to observe the future, and mm -hmm. it and it it and it fucked with him <laughs> because. Imagine if you see the future, but you can't change your future, and then you have to try to change it, but you can't because you oh can't. And, like that moment and, where he saw his mom die. So, yeah. 
who made that happen. No. Yeah, it's I, I, like he's he's a victim of of a of a sort of traumatizing event, but he is still responsible for his actions because his actions led to the future that he saw. Mm. His it it wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have seen the future if he wasn't going to kill everybody. <laughs> Yeah. He um, saw that future when he kissed yeah. uh, her hand, right? Like yeah, story story, yeah. Well, he yeah. saw the future up to a certain point when he kissed her hand. That's another confusing part of the show. Because he saw when he got into the... Mo There's a shot in the panel where he... It's right behind my head. It, it's when he's like, I'm free. Mm -hmm. This is when he becomes the... When he like starts the rumbling, right? Mm -hmm. Apparently, that's the extent of what he saw in the future. And he didn't know whether or not he would be defeated. So this is like debated... Mm. But it's um it's kind of I think agreed upon now that that at some point later on, he saw the future again, well after this like way I can't remember exactly what it was I think it was when he got the founding titan wasn't it? Maybe. When he when he when he completed that it's very fucking comp. I need to watch. That's what I'm saying. People that are like this doesn't make any sense with plot holes. Maybe you just need to watch the show again. <laughs> there's a lot no, of details yeah. in the there, show. There's there's a specific line where he says yeah. the extent of what he was able to see. It and was that the, is it was the free there was this image right behind me. I'm telling you. That's what it is. The uh where the extent is when he talks to the people. Like it's... remember when he is talking to Armin when he has his breakdown and he says in that scene this is as far as I've been able to see. And seeing the past, present, and future yeah. has messed up with my mind to the point that I just had to yeah. go. And But I cannot see beyond, be, beyond my death. Like he says, I cannot mm -hmm. see beyond my death. Mm -hmm. But I am not entirely sure if you guys are going to, uh, if you're going to make it or not, because I've seen other possibilities. But this is the only one that I can follow to give you what I want to give you. Because a lot of people do say, well, if he was able to change the past, he could have just prevented his mom from being eaten. But, but, he if, he, but if he had done that, like, let's remember, Aaron doesn't want to save the world. He wants to save his friends. Eventually, and Marley does say that, yeah. humanity is reaching a point that technology is surpassing the power of the Titans. So in his lifetime, in Aaron's lifetime, if he had chosen to never had his mom eaten or anything like that, eventually humanity would have destroyed paradise regardless. And his goal was to save the people he cared about. So he looked at all the options. He looked at all the possibilities. And this was the one selfish outcome that he could have given the, the life that he wanted for his friends. Mm. This is the this is the scene, by the way, that I referred to earlier that really pissed me off, because uh, I was like, this is, so, this is really really good, because I, I really like the conversation that that Connie and uh, John have where they're going back and forth about oh, the village. Oh, so mad about it's this. It's so good, because he's like, you know, it's, I love that line. He's like, this is how we go out. And he's like, mm, guess so. It's a, it's so frank. Mm -hmm. so I kinda, good. Yeah, I sort of don't I, like that it's a bait and switch because it was. I good. I hate that it's a bait and switch because it's such a good way for these guys to go out. I mean, like their arms on each other's shoulders. I'm not happy road. that they're alive, but it's just like, oh, I kind of wish that they're. I sort of wish that if you weren't going to kill everybody, don't make that even a thing that's going to happen at all. Yeah, yeah especially because like they're <laughs> like arms on each other's shoulders. They're just like staring at the mist. Like they know it's going to happen and like we'll entrust the rest to our comrades. It's mm -hmm. like, that's how we're going to meet our end. He's like, and then, and then I love it when he's like, you remember the night where we burned the corpses? And he's like, and he doesn't even say anything about like any detail. He just says, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good. He's like, this is all your fault, you know? Let's <laughs> see, we got stuck having to save humanity. Yeah. Boom. I uh, So good. Such oh, a good way for them to go out. Annie reunited with her dad. Mm -hmm. That was also really uh, good. Yeah, uh, was that cute. was like, I actually cried because this. Bro, she did. Oh, yeah. Can confirm. All, all of those people yeah. are dead, right? What? Which All of those people we just saw are dead, right? Because because of this right here, on so in, like yeah, as yeah, far as yeah. as far as we know, Terminate. yes, their family. At this point, yeah. while we're yeah. watching, yeah. because they just killed, they just met their family again. It's happy, and then they died in this yeah. Titan explosion. No, they 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 didn't die. They became Titans. Yeah, they became yeah. Titans. Oh, they, they, became became, titans. Oh, they all became yeah. Titans. Mm -hmm. 
And all the Eldians, like, even all the Eldians became Titans. And yeah. here's the thing. That's right. That's right. I will I will defend this because <clears throat> here's the yeah. thing. How would you have felt? Because after this scene is um happens the Aaron explanation, right? Yeah. The reason why I think I am so freaking glad that they these guys didn't die. And like, yes, is it a beautiful send-off? It would have been a beautiful send-off. Yes. But imagine right after this, Aaron goes, Yeah, I did this to save you guys. And then you come back <laughs> and they're dead. dead. It's like <laughs> then oh, absolutely shit. everyone would have been like, oh fuck. Like they, well, they, you did they, it all wrong. <laughs> they they would yeah. have been no point of redeeming anything. So they That's... turn into titans, but they 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 come back to humans to add a little bit and... of intensity and and drama. Yes, a hundred percent. But if they had died, they would have completely ruined Aaron's point. So then don't I, do this I... at all. Yeah, yeah, and don't do this at all. Kind of, that's don't even the bother. Point. The, that's the point I was going to make. It's that I'm yeah. not, I'm not arguing that 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 is correct. I just think though that if if you've written yourself into a place where you can't do this scene and have it be real, you should probably just like cut, just cut, it. cut, cut the death with the, the death of Jean and Connie. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, like you know, again, it's a serious finale, so we're like we we're yeah. we're believing you here. And yeah. uh, like I just I think it was a, a little bit cheap and well, it, it, and it sucked because it was good and it's yeah. nice that they lived but the two things together it's like oh well, even and, on yeah. top of yeah. that with Annie's dad and Reiner's mom Gabby turning as well it was like oh it mm -hmm. really felt like it was all of this would have been for nothing no mm -hmm. I, I, I get that honestly, it's a gut yes. punch but it's just like don't do it don't I, don't look, bother a hundred percent like. What I'm disagreeing with is that they should have died. Like, they should not have died. But do I think this little, like, bait and switch could have been avoided and it would have been just more consistent and let's focus on, like, what's actually happening on the battlefield? A hundred percent. Yeah, because like, this is just, this is an example of, like, okay, going back to this conversation, this is an example of great character writing between these two characters, right? Mm. This is great. It's it. They say a lot with very little because this whole sequence is like what maybe maybe thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. They say a lot between the two of them. It really gets their characters across. It real again when when he's like, "You remember the night we burned the corpses?" And John just answers, "Yes." They're like, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. Like that is such that is so good. But again, if you're not going to commit to this, then don't do it at all. Just cut the scene. Yeah, the impact because is gone. my problem is not that they die or that they don't die. I'm not saying that they should die or should live. I'm saying if you're going to have them live, cut this scene because the bait and switch is just lazy writing. It, I'm just I'm just calling out for what it is. It's just lazy writing. It's just we gotta we're gonna raise the stakes again. Surprise! And then oh, it's better five minutes later. It's like fuck off. Like I I, I understand. Uh, of course, it's like we we want them to survive, right? For for Aaron's sake. But the thing is that like like you said, like he had a, this is a thirty second. You know, shot of them talking to each other. It sounds like this is that this is it. You know, like it's such a sweet moment between both of them. And then they, if they, if they didn't die, then it's like yeah, it's a sort of like okay, well, what, what's the point with all that like conversation and dialogue back and forth? Then, like, it's cool, but like, it, it it's sort of like it takes away a lot of the impact that it had. I mean, in in a way, I can, I kind of disagree because at the end of the day, they still they thought they were going to die, so you got to see them uh react yeah, in the face of death you know mm -hmm. like you got to see how they would have reacted in that situation did they know they were going to come back no did we know they were going to come back no and to isayama's point i can see why this happened not necessarily like oh i'm gonna make them titan just because of this no the the stupid little symbiote worn thingy tried to survive it was like hey I'm going to lose this battle. I got to do some shit right now. Otherwise, I'm going to die. So it was defending itself, you know? So I, I wouldn't, I, I definitely would not call this lazy writing because call Isayama a lazy writer. It's like, <laughs> like, dude, it's it's like calling uh, Tolkien I, I, a, a, I think a lazy writer. I think lazy might be going a little bit far, but I think that you, you don't even necessarily need to put this on Isayama because I think it's just the way it's executed in the anime is it feels like a bit of a letdown 
Yeah. Because I, like, I guess what, five it, minutes and they come well, back. Well, because like, when you're reading it in a manga, it could just seem like a couple panels where they're just like, ah, well, I guess I guess we're gonna die kind of thing. And then you're on to the next thing because you're you're sort of scanning through them. Whereas this really seemed like a moment that they really wanted us to focus on. It's not just one thing that's happening amidst a whole bunch of other things happening on a manga panel. It very much played as this is an important moment. And well, when turns out to not be that just that it's kind of a bit of a letdown that you didn't have to do if you but do the build up you know but like, here's the thing though and 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 let let's let's uh let's think of the actual purpose for them turning into titans what happens after the battlefield the marlians have them at gunpoint mm -hmm. so pretty much we have again even though they just saw the Eldians kill Eren, they still had one more chance, the, the Marlians, to keep on the conflict with the Eldians. Because they got reminded again that they were able to just transform at any point and to cause massacre. So here, here it is. And they're like, we, we can't transform. Like, we swear we can't do it anymore. And it took again a callback to season one where Eren says, Armin's going to save humanity. Armin, we are at gunpoint right now. I trust you. What does Armin do? He goes and talks to the people pointing the guns at them and says, hey, yeah. shut, shut, shut up. Let us do our thing. What is happening right now? Hey, we got reminded that you guys are very fucking real, even though we just went through this thing. So we still have you at gunpoint. What does happen? Armin goes, hey. Shut up, my man. Let me tell you what's going on. I am the one that killed Eren. So whether you 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 see it as the a cheapened moment for these characters or like a bait and switch, the overall purpose of them turning into Titan is way bigger than the characters themselves. It served the actual story and a good point for resolution of conflict. I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. I, I, I think that that was well argued. Yeah, yeah. that's a fair point. I just don't like it. I just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean, I just, like I just straight up don't like it. The pacing's bad, and I don't like bait and switches in my stories. I just, it's I okay never to like not them. like a trope. Then it's, it's yeah. fine. You Wait, know? I, I, I missed what trope? Just quickly, what trope? What, the bait what's the, I don't. Know. Bait which, which switch. one? <laughs> oh. Aaron's uh, bait and switch. The, the, the idea of Bonnie uh, and uh, John. Having two oh, characters okay. seemingly have their last words together and then have it not be that, like, not but really like, be a problem. They a literally have later. spent the whole yeah. season one to yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, together. And, like, I thought that it was like, would have been a nice send off because then you see the next part where Annie and Reiner have to fight everyone, and it, it sucks that it's their friends and their families, and yeah, it just creeps. It's more stakes. I mean, they, they, if you don't like bait and switches, you should hate episode five of season one. Oh boy, uh -oh. baby, that was the best I episode ever, by the way. Fucking that's, hate that, that, season one. That compared shocked. to the rest of the show. <laughs> when I mean, I, I don't know that I'd be able to know what you're it talking is. about by episode number, I, though. Oh, so. When Aaron gets eaten and then he comes back, as yeah, you think he dies? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I, can, I yeah, love I, that. That's amazing. Yeah, that oh that's God. fair, but I I don't know that I'd call that a bacon bait and switch. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not a bait and switch. switch. It's, it's a misdirect. Yeah, it's a misdirect. Like, that's, and that's, and that's, well, yeah, that's just semantic. He, here's the thing. No, 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 no. no it's not that's because different. there's there's a there's like it, it's like his origin story. <laughs> like effectively, mm -hmm. and like he's the superhero who's kind of the main character of the shonen first season. Right, so I mean, like, somebody could call it a bait and switch if they don't. But like it's not. It. And, 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 that's the thing. and same same thing here. What's happening right now of turning them into into titans and coming back because it has such a big importance yeah. to the overall story. It is not a bait and switch. It has a purpose. It has an absolute purpose. When you have just a random story where they are like, "Oh, we're going to show you Daredevil. We're going to show you Daredevil," but Daredevil doesn't show up, and when he does. Is is a woman or some shit like that? Oh, That's a bait and switch because it doesn't <laughs> no. serve any sort of purpose. Okay. This is See? not a bait and switch at all. Okay, so here's the problem. I think there's a misunderstanding of what the difference between a misdirect and a bait and switch is. Uh, the difference between the two is mostly a matter of timing and pacing. Uh, usually, when we're talking about like the structure of a story, mm -hmm. the reason why the whole Aaron getting swallowed thing, Lofty, is not a bait and switch yeah. and is instead a misdirect 
is because we then follow the story with uh, Mikasa and Armin, and the audience might believe, oh, these guys are the actual main characters, and you're you're throwing the audience off. Yeah. of of Aaron temporarily before sliding them back in and being like gotcha so that's not a bait and switch that's a misdirect you're you're misdirecting the audience's attention temporarily to get them oh. fixated on a different point but aren't you story. baiting aren't you baiting them into something and then switching well, I, it, no, it, it, no. no because because Aaron no. comes back within like because, two episodes like yeah, it's, not, it's two he's episodes. not gone yeah. for long like, he's not gone for long okay yeah it, it, again it's a difference between like two episodes and like five minutes a bait and switch is when it's like quick where it's like, gotcha, yeah. nope, psych. It's when it, but when it, when it's well, like you, you stand on the rug. I mean, and at least they, they explained it, it right? Yeah. It's like, um, you know, they, they like, had it's no explained. idea that they were going to yeah, come yeah, back yeah. at all. It's yeah. explained. I'm yeah. just saying that it's still a bait and switch, even if it's, even if it's satisfying. Well, for I mean, you guys, it, which is why it's my, still my, the trope. Uh, my argument is more down to how it's executed in the anime yeah, specifically execution. again, because I, I just think it's just, this is played as the death of Connie and John. And mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it, that is what they would be thinking in that moment. So I'm not, I'm not saying that it's completely invalid. It's just, I guess as a viewer, it was, it was a little bit jarring because it's like, Oh, well yeah. now I'm getting ready to say goodbye to these characters that I've, I've known forever. And it's like, Oh, I mean, they're, they're right. back. Yeah. Maybe that, that word rubbish. right there, that word right there basically is the like that's what it means to have a bait and switch is something that's yeah. jarring where you're like, whoa, where you're like, Ugh. that 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 feeling, that like yeah. that vibe, that's that's usually what you're talking about. But Baka right. dying in Rise of Skywalker is a bait and switch. Yes. The entire okay, movie is just one massive, <laughs> oh my fucking god. Sorry, that's the sorry, only movie that that movie literally gave me a, a headache in the theater. Oh, like, I was getting like a migraine. I started to get like pressure in my head. X-ray girl has like, been lucky enough oh. to avoid it. Let's not speak of it. Oh, okay, <laughs> I don't want to get spoiled, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 but review can, of Disney property. <laughs> can we agree? Like, regardless of whatever, whether it's a bait and switch or not, if you don't like that moment, it's a personal preference. But you cannot yeah, yeah, yeah. deny that it serves a purpose, and For it the it, it needs to be yes. there. Okay. It serves yeah. a purpose. I don't think it needs to be there, but it does serve a purpose. Well, it okay. does if the logic of the science fiction story demands it. I mean, he, yeah. that's the what, how, you can't you can't tell Isayama to like change the change the the powers of the Titans so that they, they can not do a bait and switch if that's what the story demands. And up to this point, the I mean, only people who can change back to being human are yeah. the you know the, the, the special titans. titans the special titans yeah. every titan that they have known uh, up to this point and we've seen connie's mom right they were never able to change back unless they right. ate one of the special titans so mm-hmm. yeah. To, yeah. They, for all they knew they were going to be a titan and dead mm-hmm. i mean i feel like isayama probably had this all sh- sh- shit worked out logically with the powers of the titans it's not like he said oh how can i bring them back to life and then let me invent some magical no, I think that's just how the Titan powers oh, work. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just that's... I'm just saying with the pacing, that's how it yeah. feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what that's my that's problem. Fair. I think the last the pacing it feels like an ass pole, even I... if it wasn't, because Izayama is a very good planner. So I assume it wasn't yeah, I... because he's very good at planning his stories, but because of the pacing, it feels like it's something he just yanked out of his ass the yeah. last minute. That's what irks me. I just Not think that he that did, it but that's what be... it feels. Yeah, I think it's a little rushed. I think the parts of the ending are rushed and, and... Yeah. I don't know. Do you think this should have been um, a series instead of like a short film, or like, is this how the? I didn't read the manga, so I don't know. But I don't know. No, I mean, there, there's, there's still like, Isayama. There's 139 chapters in Attack on Titan. Uh, intentionally, do you guys intentionally. know? Intentionally, yeah, because the number 140 yep. in Japanese culture means freedom. Yep, and, and which Aaron can never achieve. <laughs> it's so morbid. It's so That's morbid. Hilarious. It's so morbid. It's so, yeah, I, yeah, it's cool. I, I, I think Isayama got to a point where I, I'm not like. Here's the thing, and this is something yeah. that definitely have to have to say it. The ending in the manga is a little bit more rushed than the one in the anime. And in the anime, Isayama was able to like change a couple of things here and there, as well as expand on a couple of things here and there to give a little bit better pacing and stuff like that. So the anime ending is better than the manga ending. A hundred percent. But I do think that maybe at some point he was like, God damn it, I cannot make 140 chapters because fuck you, Aaron. 
So, all right, that's well, it. Sometimes, you know, like, sometimes, <laughs> uh, sometimes an artist, I feel it, this is a totally side thing, but like people like George R. R. Martin, um, for example, are are have a tr trouble at finishing their their stuff, and it's mm -hmm. like if you give them too much freedom and time, <clears throat> it becomes a problem, and then maybe they overtell things or they just fucking don't even do it. Yeah, so the restriction when you, can be constructive. Yeah, so when you when you have a restriction, when an when an when an artist says, okay, I only have a certain amount of chapters to tell a story, <clears throat> of course that they could make bet make make it better. It's always it always can be better. I feel like Tolkien actually kind of embodied this. A lot of the shit that he wrote didn't even get published till after after his death, right? So he was still working on all this stuff, mm -hmm. and it's like the you know, now it's sort of like in all over the place, like the Silmarillion and like some of the unfinished tales. But like the the Lord of the Rings is like a concise story in in and of itself. Like I feel like um, I don't know. I just think you know, restricting sometimes can be a good thing. And uh, like you could argue, Lord of the Rings could be better if they added things to it. Like I, eh, I don't know I, about that. Yeah, I, I think Lord of the Rings is just nearly perfect. I mean, it is basically it is, perfect. I yeah, I don't, I don't think you can add anything to it. But, you know, um, I'm going to say this. I'm actually going to say this. Yeah. There is a say that we have in the movie industry to editors, directors, and stuff like that. If anyone didn't know, I'm an editor, um, yeah. a film editor. That's what I do. But we have this say, you never finish a project. You just yes. abandon it. Yeah. And honestly, here's the thing. I used to think like, oh, it's kind of it's kind of shitty for George Lucas to re-edit the the star wars movies you know like uh what cgi but is, yeah. is, is his yeah. is his work and that was his yeah. vision at the time go for it isayama wrote the manga and then had the opportunity to change things right. all throughout season one through four so i'm like you know what yes you can always improve on the on the story but there's a there's a sweet point where you can yeah. just say this is, this is enough. perfect enough yeah can you make it better yes yeah. but this is this is how it should be right yeah. now. Well, again, that's why I really respect him having answers locked and loaded for things that might come up as questions. I, I think that that's really commendable. I think more writers, especially of fantasy worlds, like because I mean, this is a it's it's kind of Earth ish, but it's not our world, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it does have its own lore, its own history, and I think that there's always going to be times that a person who pays a lot of attention to one of these stories can say, Hey, how did, how does this happen? Or how does this work? And I think that if the writer can at least give an answer, even if it's not rock solid to me, that's a lot better than them saying like, eh, whatever magic bullshit. Mm. Like, well, I'm, I just, I, mean, I always think it's better yeah. for the writer to just have an idea of how it all actually works. You yeah. know, when Isayama took his series to be published, uh what his editor like his story editor you know to to publish into a manga said something to him it's like okay i see your story i like it uh before we publish it what's the ending and isayama was like uh well, well you know we're like we're gonna get to that like, he, and the editor said to him don't bring this to me without having an ending so mm. the the editor forced this idea to like bad. come up with the ending before publishing because he's like you're not gonna get in like if you're gonna bring it to me we're not gonna have this long ass series like this has to have an ending because of all the mystery that you're creating four point three seasons well he wasn't <laughs> even sure the show was gonna get funding to for to finish the show mm -hmm. um, mm. so and if you, I sent you a New York New York Times article I think this this is an important thing to read honestly. Uh, if you want to open it up, I, it, it's a, it's a very recent last week interview with him talking about this episode. Um, in the um, private chat, oh, Extra I, Girl, can you bring that up or should I? God damn I it. feel like I'm going to wreck something. I need to I need to subscribe to the New York Times to read it. I no, can't no, subscribe, so. you don't yeah. have to. Oh, okay, don't have to. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. It's not letting me read it. Well, can not. you just open it and I share it? it? Oh, I can't. Uh, let me see. Lofty, you just like open it and share my... share your screen. Yeah, you should be able to share it. Okay, hold on. Uh, present like, why are we doing this the hard way? Share screen. Uh, this one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? I got it. I got it. I got it. Is that working? Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. You should be able to pull it up. Okay, watch there this. You go. I'll just read this quick. Okay. Uh, let me just see if you can see what I'm reading. Okay. It says, 
so the truth is oh the question is aaron says in the final episode of the anime that he had no choice but to follow the future that he saw that he was powerless against the powers of the founding titan armin even asks him if he's really free uh was he telling the truth or do you see this as him telling an excuse and he says that this is about his writing about his uh, a, a world building essentially when he was writing the show he said so the truth is the situation with Aaron actually overlaps in a certain sense with my own story uh, when I first started this series I was worried that it would probably be cancelled it was a work that no one knew about but I had already started the story with the ending in mind uh, and the story ended up being read and watched by an incredible number of people and it led me to being it led me to being given a huge power that I didn't quite feel comfortable with. It would have been nice if I could have changed the ending. Writing manga is supposed to be freeing, but I was completely, but I was completely free. But if I was completely free, then I should have been able to change the ending. I could have changed it and said I wanted to go in a different direction. But the fact is that I was tied down to what I had originally envisioned when I was young. And so manga became a very restrictive art form for me, similar to how the massive powers that Aaron acquired ended up restricting him. Interesting. I think that's a fascinating... Now, you can tell really by the cool. way heard... he's talking about hey, this. It, so he's it, not... It, yeah. So let me just clarify. So does this it. mean everything he wrote had to adhere to that first treatment of the ending that he gave? No, because earlier like, he does say... That some things have changed here and there throughout the story. Well, no, no, but, but not, I, I'd yeah, imagine yeah. they would because he still has to write the middle. Oh. So obviously things have changed because like he can't say, "Hey, give me a treatment that is every single event of the entire yep. story." That would be difficult. But for him to say, "What's the ending?" Here it is. And I like is he contractually obligated to be like, "No, no, no that is how it will be ending." Uh, <laughs> you he told says, us how much of the ending? How much of the ending? When you were nineteen. <laughs> how much of the ending did you have in mind and how much did it change? He said, that was pretty much there from the beginning. The story starts with the victim who then goes through this story and becomes the aggressor. That is something I had in mind right from the get-go. Along the way, certain aspects of the story didn't go as expected. And I adapted and fleshed out certain aspects. But I would say the ending of the story didn't change much. And, and there, there is uh, there is uh, another article, I yeah. think, that I've that I've read where... Yeah. Uh, there was three different endings prior to this, but it wasn't that necessarily was going to change a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, like it's still within the same like realm, you know? I mean, but, are you um, talking about conspiracy theories or because no, 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 I, that he oh, okay. had like an ending that then modified a little bit, like he modified the ending yeah. technically four times to come with this ending, but all of them had the same core. You know what I mean? Right. Right. The same ending but but maybe yeah. you know maybe certain characters died or or maybe mm -hmm. armin didn't have that conversation exactly the way it went yeah i i understand what you're saying mm. real quick but, coconut thank you very much for the dollar 49 and popcorn super sticker and very nice did, tifa profile picture we like tifa Tifa's around here hot. we're pro hot. tifa waifu <laughs> but it's interesting that um if you think about the like imagine struggling with the give it being given the power of, of somebody who has like a hundred million you know viewers or whatever i don't know how many attack on titan is very popular and then suddenly you're you're scrutinized and you're like fuck how do i perfectly end this story now that i have this like supreme power of telling like the most perfect like i imagine he was probably struggling with so many different things and he actually um he was sort of abused by a lot of people and there he was sent death threats and stuff. And it's actually very sad. He, there's an interview of him saying, coming out and saying that um, he apologizes if he hurt anyone. And he, he feels uh, a, a lot of responsibility for people that didn't like the ending. And he like was, it was the most emotional thing I've ever seen a mangaka ever say to, to anyone. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it was depressing because these people are unhinged. Number one, people send death threats are stupid and dumb. But yeah, I think God, we can all agree there. Even that is, if you dislike a a script or or a movie or right. whatever, like yeah, don't say yeah, that. It's not worth a, it. It's a bad like, look. Isn't that like interesting that he 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 he? I don't know, man. I just can't imagine like what he went through writing this. Like, I don't know, because it's very personal to him too. The story, so I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. No, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's continue with the breakdown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I just thought that was an important thing to uh, to know about Isayama. No, I mean yeah. it was definitely interesting because he he yep. seems like a a very sensitive guy who has uh, yeah mm-hmm. a lot of specific things that make him tick. And I mean, remember I this think, is his first piece of art. Yeah, like, this is oh, his yeah. first manga. Like this is his Insane. baby. It's wild. And then you I get mean, death threats for your baby. Like, dude, yep. that's fucking for, traumatizing. It's traumatizing. Like, I, I mean, I'm gonna speak on a personal note. When I became somewhat like very tiny, diminute, minute, famous on the internet for re-editing the Last Jedi, I got yeah. death threats because I was edit re-editing the movie into a direction that other people didn't want to, or I wasn't editing as fast yeah. and shit. I, let me tell you, that's why I let my channel die because the toxic ass community, and we're talking about like a hundred, two hundred yeah. people. Can you imagine fucking thousands? No, I like, can't. dude, I can't. I can't. The pressure is insane. <laughs> is that why the One Piece guy is just like, I'm never going to end it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, and George R. R. Martin, like, holy hell, he saw the backlash to the TV show. Um, I can't imagine, like, him, what he's doing. The puppies are <laughs> heading up to X Ray Girl. Yeah. Anyway, people are just too crazy, man too crazy man. Yeah. like if you don't like an ending to something just move on with your life like i don't well i mean i think with game of thrones that's going to be a unique thing because it's a story that's also still in progress and yeah. i've said like again <laughs> charles dance tywin lannister coming out and being like yeah i wouldn't mind if they took another kick at the can on the, those last couple of seats <laughs> <laughs> and like that, that just makes yeah. me because, like, I mean, I don't know. They really did kind of drop the ball on that because it seemed like they didn't really care. Oh, and uh, Coconut for $5. I only asked him to kill Gabby, not himself. <laughs> F, F's in the chat for Aaron. And uh, I don't know. What the, what's the opposite of an F? A G? For a w? w? Gabby, ha! A dub. Oh, but the, no, the opposite of a dub is an L. Oh, yeah. I know alphabet. (laughs) Anyways, uh, Mike Hill for $5 said, speaking of perfect ending for a character, when Levi sees his fallen comrades and says the tear would be the perfect ending for him. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was dead there. I was like, that's a great send off for him. But I didn't get too excited. No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay. Let's let's get it straight. Okay. Levi, Levi becomes a Chad. Yep. One leg haver, okay. Uh, one leg haver. Martin, like, I, I, I see my. He's literally me. Oh, no. There's literally. My, literally, literally me for real, for real. Like I was oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, you're right. Check the private chat. Um. Uh. No. Th- some people I watched reactions because th- I love watching reaction videos. People thought he was dead. And yeah, like, I was. Like, I was uh, great. Yeah, ah, like you said. Yeah, you crazy. thought he was dead. Other people did too. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, that's fantastic. I was like, that's a great ending for him. But then I checked myself and I'm like, oh, wait, no, they already did the switcheroo on me. When guys, it came down. I don't know if you, uh, this is a little, I don't know if you guys watch React content videos to mm-hmm. these. No, mm-hmm. no. I would say it's some of the most entertaining content on the internet is watching people react to hype moments in anime. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, I watch it all the time. I'll watch people react to like the Gear 5 transformation. I'll watch people react to, you know, anything in Jujutsu Kaisen. And it's people just get emotional, man. I love it. Yeah. I love the reaction videos. This is the best the thing. This there show has the most hype reactions of any show I've ever seen, though. Mm-hmm. Um, people, pe- the communities of people like w- gathered in their basements and shit with all their friends watching the show live and like fucking mm-hmm. freaking out. It, this is this is like a once in a generation show. This is like there's there's not going to be another show like this for a long time. No, yeah, I, I do follow not. a couple of reaction channels. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah, I'm trying to think of what maybe could because uh, Attack on Titan I think is uniquely suited to be yeah. a big hit with a lot of people it is. because of the ODM gear and. The fact that they're basically fighting kaijus. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Yeah, and the emotional depth of the characters, it's like unparalleled. Um, I mean, I do compare it to Evangelion a lot. I think it's our like this generation's Evangelion, even though it's more shonen. I, I think it does, there, it's very there philosophical. Are, yeah. What I was gonna say though is I think there's a there's a lot of anime that have 
a lot of character and philosophical sure. depth. But mm-hmm. I think that Attack on Titan lot, was unique. Yeah, it, yeah. it was uniquely positioned to be as successful as it was because yeah. it also had the oh yeah by the way I, every single character in this that's a good guy is Spider Man with swords by the yeah. way. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and it, it's 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 not too deep, so it's still approachable for a wide audience. Yeah, as well. and, and like it, it starts getting deeper in the much later seasons, like yes, really from yeah. season yeah. the end oh of season three God. and into season four is when all the the heaviest stuff starts being tackled, yeah. and that's when and, you're already hooked. Well, but and yeah. that thing is they seed it well, and there are some smaller ethical questions that are planted throughout. And I think one thing that's really great about the anime in particular is a lot of the bigger things that happen later on are seeded in like the first episode or two, first three episodes. Like, you know, like you can go back and then rewatch it and be like, Oh wow. It's kind of neat to see Annie Reiner and Berthold like in the background, just talking to each other. And like it was like now it's like oh shit yeah they were always just kind of together in the back there weren't they? What were um, they talking Ivan, about? <laughs> yes, Ivan. I don't even believe this. What you just shared. I don't think it's. I don't believe that price tag. Is that real? Uh, if if you go to the if you click on the letter C, which is Mikasa and Levi, and then click on full payment, you see the actual price, which is five hundred dollars. Oh Guys, fuck. Okay. Please do check this figure out, which I, sure I, I think Holy is shit. the best figure I think I've ever seen in my fucking life. I have it life. on my screen if you want to share it. Okay. Also, you get you get to buy either or, or you can buy the entire set. Yeah. What are, are you sharing your screen? Oh, yep. one second. I lost um lost stream yard. I, I need extra girl. She's the producer extraordinaire. <laughs> oh, you can share um, when she gets back. I have it. Wait, hold on. Where, okay, yeah, I gotta just scroll. Now I see it. God damn, yeah. it looks insane. So look at this. Look at this. This is this is uh, Mikasa oh, God, and Levi. Levi going after and Aaron. Falco. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, I didn't see <laughs> and Falco. And Aaron <laughs> going against the Titan, dude. Aaron, it is such a bad. I, I, I thought I thought Falco was just like clouds or something at first. <laughs> look at the fucking detail, and those things are hand painted. Five hundred dollars, oh, man. Five hundred buckaroos, man. Five hundred buckaroos. Look at this for trailer. each piece. No, for or... for all of them. Oh, really? I mean, that that's actually you know, as far as those statues go, that's that's not too bad. I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of much more uh, pricey uh, anime statues. Mm-hmm. I really wanted this berserk, but like uh, berserk yeah, the armor OD, from Berserk. The, oh, berserk. And, and it was, it's so gear. cool, but it was like two grand. I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> can't can't possibly justify this expense." Did you see the uh, the guy try to reproduce the ODM gear with um real life in real life? Yeah. Oh my god, it, it, it kind of worked. Did that go? Oh really? Well, I mean, he, just better by himself, than he I made it would. <laughs> he shot these things out of his hip, and they latched into the wall, and then he like, yeah, it worked. It worked. It's on it's on YouTube. It's like it's it's crazy. Anyway, man. That's pretty wild. You know, uh, one thing uh, yeah. that I just, uh, I, I, like, realized, uh, speaking of, like, Isayama's ability to just make shit connect to <laughs> to other things, is, uh, do you remember when Aaron gets eaten? Yeah. What is the last yeah, thing? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. The last thing he says is, I'm not going to die in a place like this. Inside the mouth of a titan. Guess where he mm-hmm. dies? <laughs> Inside the mouth of a titan. It's yep. guys. I've been seeing on Twitter. If you type in a hashtag attack on Titan, there are <clears throat> hundreds of channels of accounts that are like fan accounts that are posting parallel pictures of like season one to season four or whatever. And there's like so fucking many of these. There's mm-hmm. um <clears throat> like the the big one is when Aaron wakes up in the first episode and, and it, he's dreaming and Mikasa says, "See you later, Aaron." She says it again at the end of the fucking mm. at the end of this episode. And but it's reversed. Aaron in the time alternate alternate timeline. I think we're there right now, aren't we? Mm-hmm. We're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aaron says, Why are you crying? And she looks up and she's crying. And if you go back to the first episode, I mean the first season, um, Mikasa asks Aaron why he's crying when he wakes up from a dream. And he there's the same shot. I'm dead serious. It's wild. Um the, the, these parallel um, things are all over Twitter. Just like, just look for the hashtag, and you'll see like mm-hmm. so many of them. It's, it's it's so much fun. 
Uh, people are discovering discovering new ones constantly. Did you guys know that Armin was in the last? Armin was an old man uh, in the last uh, monologue. I mean, epilogue of mm -hmm. this show, yeah, and he yeah. was like walk. I didn't know that was Armin at first. No, I. Oh. Uh, it, it was like this old man with a cane, and mm -hmm. it was like, oh, so Armin outlived Mikasa, I, I guess, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a totally that's an interesting part of the story. Like Armin actually has to outlive Mikasa, and like he's reflecting on. So there's Armin's so the details. invincible Giga Chad, though. Yeah, yeah, Armin is like. Plus, he yeah. he he never like Mikasa was fighting more like the the. Dojo. Her, yeah. her body was deteriorating a little bit more than Armin. But she did live to old age just like Aaron wanted them to do. Mm -hmm. Actually, people yeah. are, that's another thing. People exactly. were like, Aaron didn't get what he wanted, therefore oh. the show sucks. He actually did. He <laughs> yeah, like, did. people people think that Aaron wanted to save the world and cure cancer and, like, <laughs> this, like, reverse no. global warming and shit. No, Aaron wanted to just save the people that he wanted to save. Like, I don't think anyone's saying that, but Aaron actually no, no, wanted... legit. Like a lot of people are saying, people are saying that he wanted to stop global warming. No, no, no. Like, I... <laughs> oh, okay. No, I was. I, no, that's no, what no, I was no, referring no, to. No, I was that, referring to that, that he being a should. Man. That that he should have. <laughs> that he <it> should have. <laughs> oh my God, those actors. Aaron need said. <clears throat> Aaron said to Ramsey, which is that that foreign kid that he mm -hmm. saved without he has no free will, so he just had to save the kid. In this, you remember this. Oh, Aaron the the was going to save little the little cap, boy. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then on the next episode, he fucking kills him. He steps on him or whatever. Mm -hmm. The rumbling uh, kills one the of kid. the rumbling. Yeah. Yeah. So that's tragic. Number one, he brings the kid up to this cliff and the kid can't even speak his language. So he's the only person that Aaron has ever confessed anything to this, like a hundred percent of the, of the, of his uh, soul basically. Cause the mm -hmm. kid can't understand what he's saying. And he says, he literally says, I thought, he was like, I thought there there was freedom beyond the sea. And then when I discovered that humanity lived beyond the walls, I was so disappointed. Mm -hmm. And then this is in the panel. Then he said, I wished for it. I wanted to wipe it all away. I'm sorry. He's literally confessing his deepest emotional desires because he discovered that the freedom beyond the wall was not free. There is no such thing as freedom, and his whole purpose in life that that drives him is to is to escape, is to be free, and it's an impossibility. And he literally had the desire to wipe it all away. He's telling this kid, he's being honest with this kid. Yeah, that's he was, who Aaron he was bawling is. his eyes out too when he was and saying that. Aaron wanted to kill everybody. He's not a a saint. People, you know, people just forgot or like just didn't quite interpret the character correctly and then they had yeah. like an existential crisis when he had reveal think, his true self at the end i think there's also so. confusion because of well another character i can't mention actually yeah. because of massive spoilers but there's another character who runs very parallel to aaron um yeah. in another show um i just can't say anything more than that um but oh, they've Malcolm. been comparing oh, him and it's and it's always like this character did it better this character did it better this character did it better the problem is is those characters are very similar but they're also very different and so if yeah. you're expecting similar things like oh yeah this other character Don't, that i can't like, mention like Yagami or whatever yeah that's not who i'm thinking of that's not who i'm talking or, or, about or, or, I'm or not mention them. oh sorry God damn it <laughs> But don't, yeah, I don't want to spoil the ending because I still haven't even seen the ending to Code Geass. But like, I, I don't want to know exactly what happens, but I know exactly what you're saying. People are like comparing these people. Like yeah, he's stupid. specifically to Lelouch. Yeah. I guess I I'll have I, to name him now. God damn it, Lofty. But well, yeah, it's, well, it's, you didn't spoil anything. I'm just saying, you know, like everybody has that. Like, if you know, you know, it doesn't, you know, yeah. I don't know what happens at the end of that show. Yeah. But the fact that I said that people are comparing crazy. him to Lelouch, it kind of, you know implies yeah, that's, that's, well, that's such an old thing I, i've i've not ah, seen yeah. code geass so we should, we code should is really good from... well but, same, but same, before same. i think too hard about it and connect anything in the endings in my head we'll we'll move back to attack on titan well yeah, i mean but... walter white walter white is a great comparison um <laughs> look think, of, think about this <laughs> think about this he wanted to uh no i'm reading the chat malcolm says he wanted to make the world what he saw in armin's book I, I mean, Rocky. I mean, what he, yeah, he, he wanted to, except Armin had a, Armin had like this wholesome desire. And, and what he did by killing Ramsey is like 
he fuck he just squashed in Armin's dreams entirely. Like he betrayed Armin basically in that moment. He totally betrayed Armin's because Armin is not Armin did like to help genocide people, <laughs> mm-hmm. but he's not a you know. He's I mean, not he blew a... up some kids. <laughs> that's for sure. Rocky. Yeah. He's not Aaron. He though. Mm-hmm. You know. But yeah. I mean, eighty percent of the world versus a bay of you know, know. ships is very <laughs> different. Saying. Very different. Very different. Yeah. So a lot of people though. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was yeah. kind of nice seeing M- Mikasa and Aaron live like the life that they she probably wanted, and maybe he wanted if mm-hmm. the freedom allowed it. Yeah. But it would have looked like yeah. just calm. Oh, no. So like yeah, chop firewood and cook meat for your muscle mommy while I so do that, crunches. So that scene with M- M- Mikasa is basically a like a different alternate timeline, right? It's like this is yes. what happens if you if you were to profess your love to me, I would yeah. have when, if gave they up ran everything. away at that moment. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. He's showing her what happened. And that's why he has what short is. hair. Because Mikasa, that's who Mikasa sees him as. Somebody was now he grew his hair long, Aisayama said, because he gave up on life. <laughs> Didn't give a shit. <laughs> no but, time to cut your hair. <laughs> yeah, he just gave up. And like uh she wanted his, her version of the perfect Aaron is who he who I mean he, you could say her version of Aaron is a uh 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um a fantasy. But that's oh. He, he he was willing to embrace he he would have embraced it he, he broke down in the end he was just crying about it um but he he had this like in, in unhinged uncontrollable desire to to destroy the world and like anyway that's why her hair was also her hair length too because in that alternate reality i think there was like a line about her cutting her hair or something and, and like all this shit is planned <laughs> way ahead of time but you say Yama, it's kind of insane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what's what's this? Rocky, I mean, Rocky's first, being uh, kind of a bad puppy, but JoJo's a good puppy. This is, this is the first teeth. scene, uh, the first the scene with right? the birds. The birds are, um, yeah, that's teeth. The birds are, um, oh they're seabirds, and so it, it it's like it shows that they were never far from the coast to begin with. Like the coast was always close by because the birds that get rustled up when Aaron wakes up at the very beginning of the series. Um, mm-hmm. those white birds are, are oh my gosh, seabirds. Yeah. And so it's 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 a way of like if you know what they're you're looking for, you automatically know if they're you know, close. You know. They're close. Well, well, actually, the map of Attack on Titan is funny because it's an upside down map of Africa and it's reversed. It's it's they live on Madagascar, mm-hmm. and um paradise yep. is a Madagascar, mm-hmm. and then Marley take has taken over Africa, and, and the bottom of Marley is is like uh, northern Europe and southern Europe. If you just look at the map, it's a reversed upside down I mean Africa continent. Also, like every single in every episode since episode one, whenever they so yeah. whenever they had the little gray whatever image at the end that said to be continued. Yep. If you actually pay attention, you see that there's two pieces of land and a <gasps> boat going from one to the other. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, okay, so I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Hold on. So that is I saying. I believe I have controlled the puppy. So that's, man, that's, is that insinuating that, that eventually they escape paradise and go to the mainland? Is that all? No, that? it means no, just, that, just it that means Rocky's that not some... barking. Just oh. that Rocky's not barking. <laughs> that's it all means that uh, it just shows you the existence of Marley. It, it shows oh. you that there's more land. That yeah. is traveling. Oh, before yes. they knew at that point. You know what's okay. crazy? It's so long ago that I forgot there was a time where I didn't know that Marley existed. I'm just. I mean, the, the, is so long. Yeah. The, the majority of the show. 2013. 2013. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Can yeah, I like, show? I was watching the show live from uh, Charlie. By the way, Moist Critical has the best review of this show. Moist okay. Critical. Oh, yeah. Can you see? Like, there's oh, this here. is a piece of land. These are boats, oh. and you see castles, people running from titans with cannons and shit. Oh wow! Oh, this was cool. season oh, one or two. This is no. This is every like every single episode. This is the to be continued uh, oh. image that they use. 
Totally missed that. <laughs> no, this is from episode one. <laughs> no, totally I knew that, right. but I didn't know they were they, these things were moving. Or are you just I saying? Know. Totally knew that too. Boats. Right boats. when I first oh, watched yeah. it, I yeah figured it all out. I was like, yeah, there's definitely like a no. Europe that's uh, that's good, like colonizing them, you know, man. How many of you now? I was watching the Moist Critical review. I, I recommend everybody check it out. He, he it's, I like it. Like, he's funny. He he's when he gets passionate about something, it's very like uh, it's it's like captivating. Like you anyway. But he said that I agree with him. I watched this show every time it aired live. It was like one of the few shows that um, I can remember watching live every single time it came out. From season was, two, from that's, season that was my story. Two. Yep. I agree. Season Because season, season one, I watched when it was on Netflix. And that, that I think, is how a lot of people got into this show. Yeah. Because it was it was very accessible. Because it was in the era where there wasn't a lot of streaming services. It, but everybody yeah. had Netflix. Mm. Everybody had Netflix, um, mm -hmm. and, and and it's like it's 2013. Think about how long ago that was. And then they had like a three year gap. I remember there were people cosplaying. Uh, it was it was the number one cosplay at anime conventions for like two years. X Ray Girl Mika's a cosplay when. And then yeah. <laughs> we'll talk and later. then we'll talk later. We'll talk. And later. then uh, the cosplay meta shifted to like My Hero Academia or whatever, and it shifted. And then when a Titan came back, people were just like, uh, I don't care. I don't. I don't care about this show anymore. And then, and then suddenly everybody started caring again because it was so good. Yeah, um, no, I I was in from the like when I watched season one, I was like, okay, I I now need to get Crunchyroll because I I need to watch yeah. this show as it's coming out. And that yeah, that, that's what that it three did. year gap though was an, was hard, very difficult to deal with. Yeah, but you know, you watch other things in the interim, and like yeah. I, I kind of like subbing to Crunchyroll at that point because all of a sudden I just had access to like all the anime which yeah. when my late 1990s early 2000s anime fan brain figured that out it just exploded and i was like oh man i could just uh, i could just watch like all of this like whenever i, I want i don't have to pay 300 dollars for a dvd box set yeah why dude i need to get a like a special edition dvd box set of this thing i agree oh, I can't i'm, I'm wait looking to for do it that. doesn't exist yeah yes. what do you mean not yet. What are you talking about? No, it doesn't. You can get the individual a, seasons, but you can't get a box whole... that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I, you're I, talking about like the whole series. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. are you talking about? I was like, yeah. I have the first three seasons right over there on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. Like, you well, guys are fucking crazy. See, you fell for the uh, the FOMO. I am waiting for <laughs> the box set, the epic box set. You know. Mm. But, see, I just get the yeah. uh, special edition box mm -hmm. sets on Blu-ray. Well, that's cool. When they come out. I, I, I have I have the epic box sets of um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and mm -hmm. Fade Heaven's Feel. Most oh, you have Heaven's, those three? Well, because Heaven's Feel, I couldn't find like to legally get any way other than physical copies. And those are nice releases. Yeah, like, yeah, the, the, it's a it's a good box set. I like it. Yeah, Heaven's Feel is a good one too. It's dark, kind of sexy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh, like, like I mean, they, they flat out say that the love interest has e cups. It's a line of dialogue in the film. Yeah, I gotta, I, I, I gotta get it now. Yeah, see, yeah. there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> X-ray girl, uh, read Toga's a cosplay one. I already did. <laughs> yeah, I know. Though technically, it's Sakura and it happens field, but uh, whatever. It's not important. Get to the before we get to the Aaron. Army conversation. I, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Well, you guys can go. I'll be. I'll be back. Okay. So he, is the Aaron Armin conversation next? Yeah. Yep. That's well, that's well, up. Like it would be the the most organic thing to to jump into because okay, also well, is the thing that most people are mad about. That's where. Okay. We're at. Well, yeah, Philip, why don't you lead us off into this one? What did you What did you think of this bit? Like going through it. What were your thoughts? I like the callbacks to in, in, in like you know them as a kid you know talking and growing up and just talking about the the stuff and it, it looks more like you don't see all the speed lines on the face you know like the extra lines that they have for like dramatic effect or anything like that mm -hmm. and um, I, I like the fact that it goes into like different parts of their lives and then you see the aurora borealis and stuff like that and um, the part the, the, the following part where they're like in the like a puddle it looks like they're in the ocean I think that's the part. I think that's where um, Ivan was talking about, where that's the part where 
everyone started hating it. But like overall, I thought this part was great. It's uh, it's just them talking, and I, I think this is the most interesting part. I forgot who mentioned it. Just I'm, I'm just honestly, talking. I'm honestly kind of surprised that this is the part everybody hated. I didn't think there was really anything wrong with. It this. wasn't this no, like, it exact was, part. It, it was, was when Aaron started to cry. Yeah. Oh well, I mean that that was Aaron saying what we've all known about Aaron and Mika forever. Yeah. But I, and I mean, honestly, I, I think I don't know if it was just the translation that I saw or what. But I thought the idea of him saying that, like, no, I mean, the truth is, I love her and I want her to pine for me for ten years after I die. Okay, yeah. like nothing bothers me more than the idea of her being with other people. And I, I don't know, I thought that was a pretty human thing for him to exactly. say. Exactly. And and, and to be fair, Armin calls him out immediately for being pathetic. Like Armin, yeah, being like, that, was, that was fucking <laughs> cringe, bro. I, I never imagined you'd say anything that yeah, pathetic. Like, like, that I mean, is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is like it, it was like the best use of the the marvel bathos humor you know like I mean, the idea of undercutting the serious moment because yeah. that was kind of in a, a serious admission on aaron's part like it was him kind of breaking down his wall and being like yeah mm. i i'm admitting that yes this entire time i i never wanted to do anything but just live live a happy life on a farm with mikasa but i knew that that couldn't happen and yeah. Armin fires back with, oh, dude. Fucking cringe, <laughs> dude. And to be like, fair, like, wow. our, our, like, giga, like, giga brain, alpha Chad, he doesn't have sex, he fucks Armin, would be the one to say that. Because, like, mm -hmm. you know, he know he, he knows the first rule of Twitter, you don't post cringe on main. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and he's not on he main. He's he's. Hell, I mean, he's he's venting to his best friend in the maybe afterlife. We don't like afterlife ish situation. Yeah. Uh, uh. So but you do you remember know. what happens right before Armin calls him out? He like punches Ar him, right? no, he punches before him. he punches him. Okay. So like we a, a lot of people on the internet say that oh seeing Aaron breaking down was a character betrayal because clearly he was a cold calculated mass murderer at that point. He was Giga Chad Aaron. So we wanted Giga Chad Aaron because we want to identify with him. So honestly, and from the, from the get go, I, I, I identified like, more with bitch Aaron. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, no Giga, like, uh, like edge Lord, edge Ed, Lord Aaron was technically the character of betrayal to the actual character of Eren. For the first three seasons, we see a hot-headed, emotional idiot, and then we see him play this facade. Since the beginning of the scene, we see that Eren is just, like, calm, collected, talking about, like, yeah, man, like, you know, this is what I'm doing, like, I get it. And then Armin, like, finally brings Mikasa up. Like, do you really think that Mikasa is going to, like, like forget you and be happy and the first response that he goes is um don't know i guess yeah, like yeah. he's he's still being this like emo boy and that's when armin is like all right enough with your bullshit tell me how you really feel you piece of shit and that's when yeah. he breaks down and finally the mask is off but a lot of people didn't yeah. didn't like that the fact that aaron is a fucking human you know like how many times have you actually try to hide your feelings from your peers and just try to play it cool. But well, I mean, but I mean, I, I think for Aaron and Mikasa specifically, it's it's always been painfully obvious to everyone that he loves her. It's not. Yeah, like it, it, it's not like they haven't been laying the groundwork for that being probably like because I mean, just remember just at the beginning of this final season, like final season part one, we were all like blown away by the fact that he could be so mean to her. Yep. Like yeah. it was like okay. Well, now, yeah, like, I mean, he, he lays it down. He lays it down in season two, and he says, "You know, I'm glad I put that scar wrap that scarf around." Yeah, you. and I yeah. will wrap it as many times as I need to. Exactly. And if you, if you remember that scene where he tells me, "Cause like I too, fucking yeah. hate you," like on season four when he's like, oh, yeah, "Yeah, I yeah, hate yeah, you." Yeah. And oh, everything. that would hurt. That hurt. The last time Aaron sees Armin after Ar after Armin calls him out, like, "Hey, don't you care that you're hurting me, Casa, right now?" He looks back and you can see in the animation, his eyes are watery. Like he wanted to fucking cry at that moment. It was the first time in that moment where we see Aaron react actually to something without having this cold ass demeanor. 
And we see that he wanted to just like, you know, he, he was hurting. The guy was always hurting. He was always on the brink of tears, period. Always. Yeah, I think he's always yeah. trying to put up that front, you know, trying to be stoic and then like knowing that he, what he must do, right, in order to get this perfect ending that he, I guess, wanted. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know, and plus he's only 19 at this point. He probably never had sex or anything like that. And then he's just like, fuck, you know, like. My guy's over. here die a virgin, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My guy Aaron died a virgin. Yeah, like, he he and Annie might have had some late night sparring classes. You know, there there was one guy uh, yesterday that came to my chat, and he said that Aaron got off too easily. Like he didn't like the fact that Aaron got off too easy. And I'm I guess like, he just got to start thinking about baseball. You know, like get his mind off off the moment. But um, but like honestly, thinking about it, for years this guy just suffered. Alone, like I'm not saying like, oh, poor Aaron. No, the the bitch killed eighty percent of the population. Like he killed a, suffering. Yeah, but like at the end of the day, he, every single day was a burden to him. You know. I'm pissed. He okay. stole my Rick and Morty bit, brother. You can't be doing that. Joke, fucking uh, joke. Do you, Schumer up in here. Do you guys. This you guys not remember that? <laughs> no. No. Oh, what the hell? I, I did a whole Rick and Morty bit. This was back when Lethal Lightning was still a part of it. I was like, oh, geez, Rick. I think we just uh, stepped on 80% of the population. No, you don't understand, Morty. We got to hit at least 90%. 80% is rookie numbers, Morty. Uh, we got to keep stomping, Morty. We got to. Like, I did that. I did that bit. And then when he said it, I was like, what yeah. the fuck? He stole my bit. I couldn't believe <laughs> oh, it. Well, you actually got 80%? I, 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 I there's, it's somewhere back in one of your old recordings. Uh, I did a whole uh, Rick and Morty <laughs> joke bit. I did, I basically did the bit again just now, but I did that bit like years ago. And this is yeah, back I mean, when Lethal was still a part of it. Yeah. Do you, uh, Ivan, what you said, you just said something interesting. Oh. Um, you said that he, he is, res he is blameworthy, but, he's sort of sympathetic <clears throat> i think um that's fascinating i agree and i think it's okay to be sympathetic towards bad people um it doesn't like i brought up walter white earlier it's it's like yeah i, I sympathize with walter white in some way um i don't think i think the irony i think people are being like ironic when they're like oh walter white's based or whatever but um some people are not but do you think in a deterministic universe where everything is predetermined based on you know past decisions and like we really have no free will, blah 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 blah? Do you think there? Do you think the at minimum? Do you think that if we knew for a fact that we lived in that kind of world, right? This is a yeah. deep question. Do you think that <clears throat> people would take less of of, of uh, offense to evil deeds? Um, in, in a world like that where it's now and couple that with the fact that the person that we're talking about um, happened to see their future. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, we, we have this thing called forgiveness, right? Forgiveness, redemption. Um, and it's sort of powerful. And I think it's important that we have that, but in a world where you see your own future and you, 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 maybe you have the ability, maybe you, want to change but you can't and it's like i don't know man maybe there's some I don't know, i'm just trying to like justify why i feel sympathetic towards aaron as as a character i i, I, I okay i know? think I, I i understand what you're saying and i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna put it to you this way in yeah. in buddhism yeah uh, one of the goals to reach nirvana is uh, to enhance something called meta. Meta is seeing everyone as a good friend and just wishing the best for people. It's very poorly translated in the US, in the US okay. as love and kindness, which is not. It's it's something where um, where you just like yeah. without attachment, you oh. wish for the well being oh. of any person. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, where I learned, uh, where I learned this concept was in martial arts. So I was practicing martial arts at the time, and our teacher said that the best way to fight 
an enemy is to fight him using meta, meaning that in order to have like a good conscience or to live good or something, you can understand the motivations of people. You can understand that this guy that is trying to kill you is is uh, mentally um, not there. He's depressed. He's 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 psychotic. He's he's doing. All, you can feel sorry for them. You yeah. can you can understand and you you can wish that yeah. they were a happy person. Right. Because if they were happy, like like genuinely happy, they wouldn't be committing these atrocities. Or if they were well in their head or whatever. So you can be sympathetic towards them, but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't right. act on it. You know? Oh, no. Now, this is not a, just a, a Buddhist thing, I mean, or a martial arts thing. I mean, it, you know, Christianity has this sort of perspective, too, on, 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 um, you know, everyone is sort of equal under the eyes of God and like sin, everybody sins, everybody's born a sinner. And anyway, there's, there's like ways of viewing this kind of uh, interaction between, between, you know, somebody who, somebody who is like the word evil gets thrown around all the time. It's like, I think that the, a good example recently of this is the show Dahmer. It's like, oh, this show was, um, the show was try to, people try to get it canceled, blah, blah, blah. Because it tried to simp, it tried to, it didn't really, but it, but it sort of uh, put you in the head of somebody like him, where he was abused as a child, and he was neglected, and he, he was into taxidermy as a child, and his father didn't give a fuck, and, but like, of course he's gonna grow up to kill people, like, um, and then you know, no, it doesn't excuse their actions, and they should be put in jail for the rest of their life, or, or you know, if you believe in the death penalty, you know, it, it gets into too many of these different things, but the sympathy. It's hard. I don't know. I, I always I think sort what of... you're trying to say is that you empathize in the sense that you understand their mo mm. motivation. I, and you're not saying it's okay, it's, but it's, you, you, you you're right. do it's know what they're, why they're doing it. They're mo you're, you're right. It's just hard to say that because people will pigeonhole you and put it and say well, that you're um you're 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 but, enabling and, you're enabling the person or whatever. And you're, it's not you're, enabling. Yeah. I think understanding what pushes yeah. people to do these things. It's yeah. not enabling a behavior. It's just trying to. I know what pushes them to do that. And every person thinks they're a hero in their own story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I literally story. am, but but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you're <laughs> Levi. Well, now you're go. Levi. <laughs> Levi is the hero. No, but yeah, I think I think you shouldn't feel conflicted that you are no, no. That, that you feel like sorry for Aaron. I I feel sorry for Aaron. Like, goddamn, my guy suffered a lot. But at the end yeah. of the day, I would be like, Yamikasa, yeah, chop that head off, like right now. Oh yes, no, I, I definitely yeah. pity Aaron a lot. Like he's he's a very pitiable character. It, 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 yeah, I also don't blame anyone. Anyone, I they had to hide his grave in a tree that's like unmarked. Uh, I don't blame society for viewing Aaron as like a monster. Um, okay, he is <laughs> it, <Yeah>. and eighty <laughs> percent. Um, I don't. I also don't know how Armin and the crew and at the end were able to negotiate with people on behalf of like that. I would love to see. I don't really want to see it, but I would love to see how they were able to do to sort of build relationships with people again, yeah. being friends with Aaron and um, you know. That's I mean, fascinating. They, they are the ones, like, I'm pretty sure one of their bragging points when they were trying to bring a they peace killed. treaty is like, yeah, I killed my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like, we stopped the rumbling when no part in mm -hmm. starting it, but we stopped it. And that's another point, like, actually, and I, I want to get your guys' opinion on it. Uh, a lot of people are very mad at Armin, Mikasa, Levi, especially those three. They're very mad at them because they're calling them traitors. The point on the internet that I'm seeing is, ah. oh, they were traitors. They betrayed parodies. They betrayed yeah, Aaron. Man. So they are just fucking traitors. And because of them, uh, everything was meaningless. So race well, traitors, essentially. We can't, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know who who you're talking about. I know we. I, I've seen it, but I. I, I the, some of these people are. Um, we were we were just talking about empathy, which is kind of awkward because now i'm just going to call them psychopaths <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people there's a lot of people that would just straight up gen there's a lot of people who 100 unironically support what hamas did on october 7th and you know and there's a lot of people that would say hey if the jews uh up, did an uprising after world war ii and they like decided to annihilate the entire planet 
that they would be in the right to do so. And it's like, I, well, yeah, they're, you could, I think they're wrong and they're crazy. <laughs> and this, but, but this is a fictional show. It's not really that serious, but there's just, a, I think those people, some of them are trolls. Some of them are people with bad morals. Um, some of them just don't understand the show. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Ivan. Uh, it's their yeah. opinion. They can have it. Um, oh, yeah. Sensei, did you did you explain why he didn't know if uh, his friends would survive? Because uh, later on, he says he tested it multiple times. So yeah, he did. How did he not know if he tested it multiple times? Wouldn't he know? Or no, because he he remember that he also says like, "Hey, my brain is a fucking mess." Yeah. Like. I, like there was a point in time where I kind of had like somewhat control of this shit, but at this point, like I'm seeing past, present, and future, and difference of all of them. So I don't even know if like I I know the one that I wanted to take because it's the one that would give me the result. But at this point, I don't know if I'm still in this path or not. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure because like because then the other thing is 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 going back to him aping my Rick and Morty bit. Like I guess that's why he knows it's exactly eighty percent because he's run through this loop multiple times, I guess, and he knows like exactly the amount of people that die, I guess. Otherwise, it's like that's a fucking lucky guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's mostly of the nature of like, you know, he is the founding titan at that point. He has control over like what he sees and he can see like. Because he's connected to every Titan, including the ones causing the rumbling. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't think he was so he's like, running yeah, an active head count. Not necessarily running an active okay. head count, but okay. I'm pretty sure Aaron at, at one point is like, this is about like, I, I'm not, I'm okay. not, I don't think he had like a notepad, like, okay. Uh, okay, this is okay, this, this is how is much. Right. So he did not Rick Sanchez this shit, is what you're telling me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure okay. he was like. I've I mean, seen how much I've trampled, and I'm pretty sure it. it's about this much. <laughs> okay. you know? So he, yeah. he guessed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, he, yeah. So I mean, he, he something... threw out a guess like it was a definite thing. Yeah, that's it's, it's that's totally... a that's okay. something a normal person would say. They would just give a number out of ten, eight, you know, eighty percent. Okay. It's okay. like it's like a guess. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah, that's what I think. Okay. Because yeah, he didn't I... see in the few. He didn't even. He did. Oh man. <laughs> no. There, well, does he his... see past where he dies? No, no. he can't. He can't. No, uh, he he okay. says that he yeah. cannot see past his death. Yeah, he can't do that. But um, man, this is this shows. See, you know what's wild? Most people make fun of shows and movies about time travel because it's like dumb and like a cliche. This show, though, it yeah, feels like a necessity. It feels well, like think... it's like the best version ever of like time travel. Well, it's thinking through yeah. its rules pretty specifically, like, and it's really yeah. committing to a fixed loop, which is why the original Terminator is the best Terminator movie. Right. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. I, I, yeah. So has he run through this loop multiple times? Is that what he says when I when he says I tested it multiple times? He's run through this okay, loop multiple so, times, and that's why his brain's all fucked up. Correct. I well, I could I could be wrong, but um, I believe he saw the f future and past all simultaneously when he when he kissed Historia's hand, and it kind of. Fucked yeah, with fucked his head, up. yeah. But then later on, when he got the founding titan, he was able to do this at will, sort of, yeah. Um, and and kind of see the past and the future. So there's two different. We have to understand that there's these two different kind of he, he, he and also. Well, he can okay. change. Oh, he can let, change let, a thing and then look into the future from where he changed it. This is the this is the best way I think I can yeah. put it. When he kissed Historia's hand. Yep. He saw the future that uh, that he was going to bring. That, that he saw the rumbling, yeah, because it was the future that technically was going to give what he wanted. So it was like, okay, he saw the rumbling. He's like, fuck. Okay, once he got the founding titan, he's like, okay, how can I make this not the rumbling? I know. So so he started to look at different things. Okay, what if I change this? Well, then this wouldn't happen. So the rumbling wouldn't happen. What if I don't do the rumbling? Okay, we get killed by Marley. So he started running all of these scenarios. And because of that, he got like, that's when his head started to get messed up. Yeah. That doesn't make sense because he was, he was doing the Doctor Strange yeah. thing of mm -hmm. looking at different possibilities. 
but you know, Doctor Strange is uh, mentally more capable of doing that shit than our boy Aaron. You know, <laughs> yeah, Aaron probably Man. like he, he might not be able to handle watching the film drive. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so there's no closed time loops. It's simply just a linear. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's just linear. Okay. That was yeah. the one thing that I, I that was not clear because of the the language that he used because the, the when he says I tested it multiple times mm. it implies that he went back and looped through multiple times to test it. Oh uh, no 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 no. That's he, what it, that dialogue implies. Gotcha. No no no. He he just saw the he saw the possibilities. He saw okay. the what ifs, but okay. it's just cuz if you see cuz if you see the what ifs that isn't testing. You see see what I'm saying? That's what that's what was throwing me off cuz when he says test Gotcha. That implies okay. that he ran through a loop to test his hypothesis. Otherwise, it's just a random guess. It's like, oh, I guess. Whatever. No, well, it, it's not a random guess. Like he did see, like he he saw and experienced what it would have been to save his mother or to kill Armin or to do this yeah. or to do that. So he but, did like experience it, but it's but not. But what like... I'm saying is there's no way to confirm it without running through the loop because you would have to run through the loop back to the point where you started to verify that that was indeed the case well but because he can he has sight through time he doesn't need like all he needs to do is change one thing and then see how changing that one major thing affects things which he can do instantaneously because he can just look into what that future has become okay Mm -hmm. so just i'm sorry guys this this show is going to be analyzed and and (laughs) argued and criticized for decades well, I mean, I think because the, the, the reason I needed that confirmation is because, again, he doesn't say I peered through time to look at it. He said I ran tests and a yeah. test implies a loop of some sort, because when when if he was peering through time, I, I would assume he would use the language. I peered through time or I looked through the futures yeah. or I looked through these futures well, like we plural. also have to remember the translation oh. might not be. That's probably too, the so. yeah. mm-hmm. man. Oh, are we on Rumble also? I forgot. I forgot to ask. No, Actually. not not for this stream. Okay, you because okay. Streamyard makes it uh, I think a little bit trickier for me to do multi streaming release. Or actually, girl, can we do multi streaming yeah. through Streamyard? Does that work? Mm, probably. Is. Okay. You have, to, uh, you have to do the RTMP thing. It's a little bit more. Oh, like, I should. I should. Rumble I'm... is announced that they're doing a Streamyard competitor thing. Do you guys hear I about this? Not. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, yeah, I've had I've had some iffy times with with Rumble's it, tech, though. So I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but if Rumble, I would, if I would prefer to do Rumble instead of Streamyard, if that's possible. I mean, yeah, I don't like Streamyard particularly, so I I would be up for that. But um, I think yeah. they would need to make the pricing for it pretty affordable. And I think ultimately, if they if they, you can't stream to YouTube from it, you're done. Like, yeah, and, and I think they'd be incentivized to be like, yeah, everywhere but YouTube. But ultimately, it's like, well, but yeah, when I stream, what if like you have a good chunk of my audience is on YouTube, man? <laughs> like, when, when I do Streamyard, I have to choose YouTube or whatever. Like, can you, you can't do more than one? Is that what you're saying? I mean, uh, I don't know. I've never tried to stream anywhere but YouTube through yeah. Streamyard. But so, I don't use Streamyard that much. I use it for these streams, and that's pretty much it. I mean, well, if this- you guys want, you can use. Uh, Restream IO that yeah. thing, uh, it's like $20 a month or something, and you can stream up to, like for free, you can stream up to three three places. Through yeah, and, uh, I, I do that through Stream Labs, it's just it for conference call hosting, Yard is better, but anyways, we, we could talk about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. All right, yeah, 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 this is uh, YouTuber stuff, not Animu stuff. We, we, yeah, we yeah. focus on the Animus here. But uh, uh, what else do we even really have left to talk about? I, I mean, guess like the, the Mika scene. Well, this scene here, unless I missed it. Uh, I we, mean, we did, we did talk. Oh, I guess, yeah. We So, Lofty, what do you think of this scene? Good Lord. Okay. Oh, boy. I love that Aaron. Okay. Armin called him pathetic. And I think he was sort of echoing what the audience is feeling at the moment. Yep. Um, I think, I think it's pathetic that <clears throat> if that's what he wanted, then he fucking just fucked up so bad. Because if that's really, you could tell this is what he really wanted. Like he, he, because he's crying and like he's breaking down. But like, he let his own failures like get the better of him. Um, and he is pathetic. He is. 
-hmm. It's not like a shock. It's not like it's shocking how he just suddenly became pathetic. He's always been pathetic. Well, but I mean, the pathetic thing um, he's admitting to here is just being in love with Mikasa. And yeah, like, but, is two... it, but he's not number one. He's 19 years old. Okay. He's, he's, he's a young kid. Yeah. Number now. I feel like a lot of people are, are in his, in his position and they would, they wouldn't admit it, but they would, they would do it. They would admit it. If their life was on the line, if they were going to die in like the next five minutes, they would just probably L break down the, and cry. I, I, I don't know if you're under the impression that I'm criticizing him for that. Like, I think no, that's no, no. absolutely what he should be I'm, saying. It's like, yeah, no, no, I, I, no like, not I've you, loved her not forever. You. Not you. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> saying that is the number one. This is the number one panel that they're, people are criticizing. Is the, 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 they're saying it's out of character. I'm just saying mm -mm. the manga readers, I don't know what happened to manga readers, man. It sounds like a lot of them like just binged, binged this entire show and like forgot everything and like only focused on the last panel or something. Like, I don't or know what happened to the manga. Well, I mean, like, but did you read anything if you don't think Aaron's in love with Mikasa? Yeah, I, like, I, I, I mean, don't know what... it's not that crazy to think that. You know, like yeah. we're Aaron not, is not much of a leap. <laughs> yeah, and plus he's always had a streak of cringe and pathetic running through his character since episode one, really. Bro, he's he been, gets captured he's, all the time. He's always yeah, yeah. He's he's had that cringe all over him. Armin's just calling him out for being a fucking soy boy because Armin again he fucks. Oh. I just wanted to just remind Armin. Him Armin. <laughs> Armin, Armin is Armin the jail. Jail. He he, he, he hit puberty and then grew into Twink yeah, Husbando. Even, <laughs> even yeah. Levi, even Levi said in the final episode that um er, 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 Erwin he was like talking to Erwin. He was like Erwin, I'm gonna. He said like I'm gonna prove to you what how your death was was um was uh, valuable in some way. And I think he was talking about how Armin helped with this ending, like you know with 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 killing with with killing um Aaron basically. You know, because, you know, Levi felt bad about it after deciding to revive Armin instead of Levi or instead of Erwin. I'm sorry. Um, but he made the right decision and he like proved it in the end. Like, you know, Armin was essential in this whole. I mean, Armin was the right choice. Yeah. Armin, yeah. like, because a, a lot of people do say this and I agree. Erwin would have let the rumbling happen. Uh, mm -hmm. like Irwin, because yeah. Erwin, Erwin was like obsessed with the answers, but Armin was obsessed with just doing the right thing. And who did Time Story better at that? Attack on Titan. The MCU went to shit on Endgame, and you can. Yeah. Endgame was fucking trash. Come at me. I don't care. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't trash. It was fine. It had problems. Here we go. <laughs> I, I'm holding. Me no, no, Mark, no, we, we can't, we can't, we can't no, no, right no, now. No, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not. I just, I just thought I. Are you sure know. you don't want to have a dialogue about it for no. thirty minutes? I can go get something to eat. Okay, guys, everyone, go to Lofty's channel if you want to see Lofty and I debate about Endgame. <laughs> yeah, we we'll talked about it. Watch and I'm the sitting Killers here just like Flower Moon podcast that we did. Yeah, the Killers but, of but anyways, right, 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 right. it it is getting late, so we should, we'll keep it on. We gotta go. We gotta go. Really. So uh, we let's keep it focused on Attack on Titan until we get to the end here. But I think though that. It's. Uh, I think it would be crazy to say that oh, this is out of character for Aaron because what's more in character for Aaron than loving Mikasa and breaking down when he finally can to his best friend <laughs> in like the paths. So it's not like he's not like in public right now. Yeah. You know, like he's in oh, the most no. intimate place he could possibly be in. Yeah, and he's he's only talking to Armin. It's yeah. not even like there's two people there. You can finally be vulnerable. To like yeah, one of his best like, friends. I, I don't know. Like I, I don't. I don't think I have any complaints with this season. Rocky, except for the you know puppy. Interesting. I think. I think. No. Even though he loved, Air, um, Mikasa, he clearly did. It's interesting to me that Isayama focused so much on this, um, this vision, and actually, in my opinion, this vision eclipses the Mikasa vision in terms of emotional weight. I. I. I think Armin and Aaron's relationship is more deep and fascinating and like emotional to, for me than even Armin and, and, and Mikasa. I mean, well, the, the, the thing is, oh, uh, sorry, God, the Rocky. Case. But, <laughs> but the thing with a like a, a young young man's yes. best friend mm -hmm. is a big part of what you share with your best friend is uh -huh. the girl you like, right? Like yep. you know, that you you're the one who you're honest about your feelings with. Yep. and that you can 
like show him your vulnerable side. So I, I actually think that as much as they, yeah, this is like an Aaron Armin scene and it's like, well, I mean, they, they don't need, really need to talk about Mikasa for that. It's like, well, I don't know. They kind of do. And I think that ha- him having a love of his life to, to vent to his best friend about is, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfectly, perfectly reasonable. It's, yeah, it it's, makes you know, it's, it's believable. It's yeah. relatable. Yeah. Cause there's going to be things that you tell your bro that you don't tell your girl. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's, or things it's, you tell your best bro that you don't tell everybody at school. You know? It's like, yeah. maybe <laughs> I'm trying to play coy with the girl I like. So maybe don't go spreading that I'm head over heels in love with her, you know, Rocky. Yeah. And then when Armin said, um, I'm ready to join you in hell, basically. <laughs> um, my God, it, it was so emotional. Like Armin at the, there's two, there's, he was Armin so deep. Holy shit. He was playing two different kinds of, he was coping. Basically he was trying to justify his own actions of murdering innocent people by saying, I will join you in hell. We're both going to be resp- held responsible for this, and, and, and we're both together, and we're both friends. And it's an acceptance of... Oh, God, Rocky. It's an acceptance of accountability on both of their parts. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. But at the same time, he was also trying to help Aaron cope with, with his own admission. Uh, so when somebody admits to like the most horrible thing that they've ever done or whatever... I feel like that's probably like a moment where a friend would, even if the thing is terrible, like a friend would just try to help the person get through it. And then like, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm going to tell so you deep. how yeah, they did ahead. it in the manga. It's different. Because right? In the manga, the, the way Armin tries to cope Aaron and tries to like calm him down and make him feel yeah. a little better. They, he says one specific line that even I was like, I, I, I know what you're trying to, do but this is gonna piss some people off and yeah, a lot of people so- were pissed about it the line that that he says is thank you for becoming a mass murderer for us he literally says that armin no! says thank you for becoming a mass murderer for this for our sake so and- you tell me my boy armin posted cringe on main yeah he did <laughs> oh, so- i mean i mean, I mean they're I mean, in the I mean- shadow realm I, Ivan, I know what you're saying, and I know that's that's. I read the same thing. There is a before and after, though. That that like, yes, he said that, but like you have to take into the context of that whole conversation. No, no, no. Like I said, I yeah. I, I know that he's not legitimately thinking. Yeah. Oh, I am so glad that you just like murdered a shit ton of people. Yes, and he's doing it in the context of like I. I'm your bro. Like uh, we're here together. No, you're you're. That's because you have media literacy. There's a lot of Rocky's people that take bro. that cont- that take that they take that panel out of context, and they don't even inc- they don't they ignore everything else, and they say, "Oh, he was Isayama is a pro genocide, pro imperialist, pro co- whatever the fuck they want to say," and they just ignore. Like, you're you know you're you read you understand kind of what he was trying to say. He said it mm-hmm. better here clearly. Yeah, here here they changed the line for we are both deserving of hell and yeah. I'll I'll meet you there, my friend. Right. Which yeah. I a hundred percent much, better, much, so much better, better explained. Yes. Holy shit, it's not even close. <laughs> yeah. It's not <laughs> even close. This is so that is so much better. Holy shit, that's a terrible line. Oh my god. I know it's terrible, but but some people took it too far. They were like, Oh, you say you're almost pro genocide. It's like, no, 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 no. How can you think that after reading? That's a ridiculous story? interpretation. Like, that's, it's, that's it's absolutely but, but it is it's just Jojo. It's just, he did maybe Isayama didn't do as well of a job there, but it's still no. it's still not enough of a problem to uh misinterpret Isayama's intentions. Like Ivan under Ivan said it exactly correct. Like he said. I understood what he was saying, but it was just like weirdly interpreted, and a bunch mm-hmm. of normies are going to misinterpret it, basically. Yeah, and a lot of people yeah. did, but I am yeah. so glad that the anime uh, that Isayama was like, let me change that real quick. Yeah, yeah that was a bad <laughs> line. I need to rewrite this shit. Yeah, Because yeah. definitely yeah. there was going to be misinterpretation on that one. We clearly was. So the, the the at the end of the day, the core is still the same. Like, Armin is just trying to like comfort his bro. Yeah. But it just he uses a better wording. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it also makes much more sense with the character instead of 
that that would be such a weird line for Armin to say too. Yeah, that that that's just that's fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's just it's it's it's, it's much I... it's it's much better the way he frames it here because he frames it like I helped push you to this. Mm-hmm. Like I helped instigate this. Like I'm the one who pushed you to to learn more about the outside world. I'm the one who pushed you to you know like d- to defend blah blah blah. Like he's like I pushed <laughs> you to do some of this stuff. Like I instigated some of this shit. And it's like yeah, he kind of did. He kind of did. Yeah. So uh, yeah. General it's Grievous funny. in the comments says there were actually some people claiming Attack on Titan is pro Nazi. I got that today. I got people saying that to me. Oh, that that is, uh, but just so we don't get too far past this, is um, is this like Dune's golden path? Is anyone? Oh, I saw that too. Somebody said that. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, Andrew Dune Matthews for two English pounds. So, is this Dune's golden have path? Um, shit. Is that in? I can't remember what that even is supposed to be. I don't know. I read, I, the, book I read the Dune books when I was in high school, and I'm. I read old the book now, too. So. Um, I don't remember what that's supposed to be about, but that might be from yeah. Dune Messiah. Maybe. Oh, I didn't read that one. Yeah, that, I um, think that I'm might rereading be it. I'm rereading out, Dune now because the the sequel is coming out in like five months. Yeah, good stuff. Well, we won't get too far off the Dune thing. Uh, I just didn't want to buy oh, that too idiot. far yeah. because I'm an idiot. But, um, Here it is. This shot. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> he is an idiot. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Period. This is an example of um a <laughs> great variety. great writing. Great writing. Mm. When it okay. What else are you going to say? Like, okay, when there's some when somebody does something so fucking unimaginably dis, like you can't defend them in any way. It's like uh saying that you're an idiot is like an understatement. However, it it's understandable. Like you have to be able to comprehend these things in your brain and like that's the most simplistic way of putting it, obviously. Mm-hmm. Again, an acceptance but of it's accountability true. too. Like, I mean, it's like saying, I'm yeah, I, no, actually, I, I thought I had this all figured out, but maybe I've been now, entirely wrong, but I can't take it back. No, no. And that follows this up. Garden variety idiot. This is another crazy concept. OK, OK. The, there's this. <laughs> I was gotten to an argument today with somebody about this. They were like, oh, this is pro genocide. This this is pro Nazi, like the, not pro Nazi, but like um, this is, you know, y- Isayama is a fascist. And it's like, all right, there's this great book called Ordinary Men. I won't get I won't get too into the weeds about it, but it's literally about Nazi Nazi soldiers who were ordinary people and they did ordinary things like they were, you know, butchers and fishermen or whatever. And they were they were essentially if you read the book, they were forced into doing horrible things to to Jewish people and they were, you know, taking them into the woods and killing them. And other things. And some of them didn't do it and they got shot. And some of them, you know, got sick because they had to do some of these things. And they were just, they were like, fuck, you know, these are regular people that they did, did horrible things. Now, regular people, when they have immense power, are capable of doing terrible things. This is a commentary on humanity, the human condition. This is like a very, very simplified way of describing it. But it's it's totally on point. Like yeah. <laughs> there's nothing cringe about this. I don't no, know why people um, had a problem with this. It's uh, no, it, it's like I said earlier, power does not corrupt power reveals like yep. that's yeah. I agree. That's what it is. Uh, and it's sad that he's putting, you know, he can't comprehend how fuck fucked up he is. So he has to like cope and just, you know, he's just an idiot. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Because otherwise he's going to break down and like die of a stroke. You know, and Armin has to console him and they have to hug. It's literally tragic. This scene is tragic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mike Hill for $5 says, I blame Aaron's father for the rumbling. If he didn't turn him into a Titan, it wouldn't have happened. I mean, but, yeah, maybe. but I didn't mean, Aaron yeah, do it to himself? Uh, it, but the thing is that the one to blame for the rumbling is just Aaron. Because <laughs> ultimately... Aaron did- yeah. Or Aaron did the thing that he needed to do in order to to do it. Mm-hmm. Um so it's Aaron to blame. And like I said before, Aaron had the ability once he accessed the the founding to change what could have happened in the past. He he could have done it. Yeah. But he decided not to. Because That's the 
that's the reason that's yeah and people people it's hard to wrap your head around it because he this is like a deterministic universe and and wrap he your would head have around changed it. Puppies. it he Good would puppies. have changed it if he could have changed it exactly he, fact, he would have if he could have yeah yeah but he wanted it. He literally, the, the, the most compelling example of this is what he said to Ramsey, which I brought up earlier, which is, I wanted to destroy, I wanted to annihilate the world. When I found out that humanity exists beyond the walls, when I found out that there was oppression, there was people living, at, you know, in captivity, people like not, nobody's free. Nobody can, there's war. Like, he literally just wanted to kill everybody. Like, this was after all this shit. Like, he had no, mm -hmm. this is his in, the internal coconut desire. The dollars as Aaron was right. Uh, coconut, <laughs> get out of the hot topic oh, oh, for one. Yeah, coconut. What, what are your thoughts on Griffith? And, mean, oh, Griffith, here we go. Here we go. Done anything I had, wrong? I had to sign a when I was at Anime Matsuri. There was a big sign that said, "Did, did Griffith do anything wrong?" And it was like, "Yes or no." I mean, the and, answer is yes. <laughs> like, the answer is yes. I mean, yeah, but um, it was funny because some some there was like it was like a 50 50 split basically i mean mm -hmm. look, you know, Casca is the yes like it's yeah, the, yeah. He, he this, is the line, this is the line right here that also again lays bare that you know armin is on some level culpable for this because he's you know he specifically says that the idea of the free unoccupied world he specifically mentioned to aaron and yeah. kind of placed that in his head um, but armin's not responsible i don't know he's not responsible armin... but he is taking no, he some is amount of yeah. accountability for saying like yeah i put some of these ideas in your head right he did he did yeah. but there is a level of armin is taking armin is taking the high ground mm -hmm. armin is saying i'm going to take some of this burden off of you aaron i think this mm -hmm. is what i got out of it and i'm going to help you share this like trauma and this burden yeah. and mm -hmm. and your your life is like you're going to die now but i'm going to help you die somewhat peacefully because mm -hmm. I appreciate what you did for me or whatever. It's mm -hmm. so fucking sad and Shakespearean and fucking epic. But, um, but Armin doesn't need to do that. Like he really, Arm. I don't know, man. I mean, even Armin. Yeah, he fucked up with the, um, with the with killing a bunch of civilians. However, it was kind of a war situation. I mean, we, we you know, we've done. Everybody's done war crimes. Every civilization on the planet Earth has done war crimes. Mm -hmm. Um. So that you know, this is a very deep kind of. Isayama is a fucking genius. I'm sorry, this uh, this show is on par with anything Shakespeare has ever written. Period. Period. Romeo, think about I, Romeo. I would, not, uh, I would not go that. Hello. I would not go that far. But I, you know, I, 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 it's I, good. I wouldn't go that far. I don't know, man. I, mean, I, I don't know. I was I was I muted for so long. I, I like I was I was trying to yeah. to cut go off for it. Sometimes. But uh, anyways, I'm just saying that um, DJ Darrell said Ivan hasn't read Berserk, but I don't think I gave anything away. I just said person and character, but I uh, didn't. Say oh no. No, uh, although, no, 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 on a related topic, coconut for two dollars. Berserk is epic. Jojo, as you can see, is very excited about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, we didn't get much away. It's like ten percent of the whole thing, anyway. Yeah. But um, okay, so uh, we have the Mikasa flashback now too, yeah. or is there anything else other than that? That's already happened. That's already happened. We already talked yeah, about the, that. The Mikasa one happened before this one. Yeah, just, we, we already, we already talked about it. What is this? So is this the Armin conversation with this ends on? What did I have that mixed up? Yeah, it ends on their hug. Huh. All yeah. right. Well, yeah. yeah. So I guess I don't know. Why don't we go around and everyone give your our final thoughts so we can uh, start wrapping this up because we're at like three and a half hours now. Yeah. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm X-ray girl. Why don't you, are you here? Um, why, why don't you? Uh, Sorry, I here? got like a little. Um, I'm really tired. So I, I, I know, honey. That's why I'm, I'm making an effort um, to. Uh, but to I mean, I like the episode. It ended the series well when they're what it felt like it could have been a lot worse it could have been and uh i hope they never touched it again that's it yeah um i guess if, if we're just going straight down from the top or here actually we can just get rid of the uh share screen and here we go now now we're we're all on uh, sizable cameras and hey we can see puppies right they're they're good puppies 
especially Rocky. He's a good boy. Anyways, but yeah, I, I liked it quite a bit. I thought that it was way better than my worst case scenario that I had in my head, which, you know, I guess that means the worst case scenario thing helped. Like if nothing else, because I was pretty much expecting it to be a train wreck of like the last Jedi proportions. And it was like, I think maybe it's a little bit predictable, but overall kind of good. I, I still am not crazy about the fact that, and I mean, I guess it may be lofty. This might tie into some of yours, but over the course of what we've been talking about this, I've sort of been evolving my perspective on it. And now I wouldn't give a hard answer, but I, I guess I didn't like that because of the things Aaron had did that he really got any sort of, Oh, but you know, he like Aaron had a plan the whole time sort of thing. Like, I think some people might take that in a way that is more forgiving of Aaron's actions than I think maybe Isayama intended. And I think maybe, I, I think it's more likely to consider that that's correct. And that it, it Aaron's motivations, at least when viewed as selfish, selfish actions to protect his loved ones specifically yeah. i think it's it's not giving him all the redemption and not saying oh aaron was just a good guy right. he was doing what he had to do the entire time he is still being selfish it's a selfishness that you can understand sort of not unlike um joel in the last of us in the first game because uh i would argue that if you're saving someone from death certain death who you view as a daughter or like are basically in a relationship where you're the surrogate father figure in the situation and your motivations come from the loss of your own actual daughter. I, it to me makes sense that you would say, okay, yeah, let's forget the, the chance of the cure. I'm saving this girl. And that's that. I think Aaron's motivation is similar. He's like, yeah, forget the apocalypse. I'm saving my friends. And that's that. And that is, it's noble through a very specific lens, but it's still catastrophic what he does to the planet. Yeah. <laughs> like as ultimately, if, if this is what had to go down, then the, the answer is the right thing that should have happened is, Human technology would advance as it will, and the Titans will become not a superior military force. And I you think know, the best it, 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 because you could say, well, I mean, and then all my friends die. It's like, or you guys could surrender and see, you just become Marleyan citizens or however it would happen there and hope that you get a better deal than, you know, being in ghettos with armbands on, you know? And I, but I, I mean, it's, it, that's the thing, it's like when you don't have the the military might sometimes you do just gotta kind of be like okay well we're either fighting back guerrilla style to the last man or trying to integrate into the conquering society and uh, right. i mean sometimes the right answer is fight to the last man as it was in world war ii because right. sometimes it's integration or, or or yeah acknowledging that you're that you 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 can't do it you can't win without a catastrophic failure basically um, but no, i think the best way to put it is if, if aaron were alive and he didn't die i don't know if i would i wouldn't kill the guy i would put i would certainly punish i think he should be in prison for probably the rest he of his can life. clearly escape from prison but um <laughs> no i'm saying i'm just saying yeah, he'd need to be like, there voluntarily I'm trying to like reasonably critique the level of how i feel about his I don't think I would give him like I don't I don't believe in the death penalty. No, I mean, it's way too fucking deep. I'm not going to talk about it. Never mind. Eradicating 80% of humanity is it, it, that's a tough it's one. Even if, even if he's it's got understandable motivations cuz they are and I think that Armin understood the motivations too, which is why I did think it was kind of beautiful that they're like, yeah, I guess we'll meet up in hell cuz that's where we're going. And I thought that that was it was acceptance of yeah, what the things we've done is are unforgivable. And we won't be forgiven oh. if, if, like, you know, Rocky. I mean, if this, our this, God exists, so let's just let's have a good time in hell together, then, buddy. Take yeah. care. I mean, honestly, I would say right now it's easy to say, like, oh, yeah, I would put Aaron in prison because, you know, like, I don't believe in the death penalty. I think, yeah, like, I commend you for it, but I think it's also important to know that we know him. If a random dude 
oh, came yeah. to your house and like killed 80% of your family, you wouldn't be like, probably you had your reasons, bro. You know what? I mean, I I wouldn't kill that person either, but oh, yeah, okay, I, okay, gotcha. I mean, I, I, probably... I just across the board, I don't really believe in the death penalty, but um, oh, okay, okay, okay. But no, I, I I mean, I know what you mean. It's like people don't. That's why I said like earlier, like it's cool that they had this little private gathering of people that like sort of were connected to Aaron. But mm -hmm. it's not necessary that that he had to be no, he had to be like respected by society. Like it's totally completely unnecessary. Mm. Um. Gotcha. 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 But um, dude, I mean, there, there's so many parallels you could draw with like the Palestinian, era, you know, Israeli conflict currently. Like, it, it's 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 very deep and complicated. <clears throat> um, we won't get into it. But are you? you I didn't realize how long you were gonna. I, I'm free all night, but I guess he's trying to wrap up, so I'll I'll shut up. Well, yeah, just the X-ray girl and I uh, need to need to get to bed, and I've got restless puppies. That's that's, that's all. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you guys want, you can feel free to stay in the stream yard call and keep talking. No, I do have to. I do have to work. Too. I need to go oh. soon. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, it, it was because uh, I am I got to bounce too. Um, it was good. I was good. I mean, I still have my problems with it. Um, it's not perfect. Um, and I it, it, I still have my massive issues with season one. I mean, season one has fucking so many pacing issues. Holy shit. Um, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Um, the amount of people that don't like season two that like season one, I'm like, why? Because like season two is much better paced. It the sh overall structure is better. Season two is just... short though. Yeah, but it it gets it gets what it needs to. No, get I love done season two in that yeah. period of time. I, I that's what I mean. It's just very well structured out. They get that pacing like, oh, that's nice and tasty. Um, yeah. I mean, overall, the show's good. I mean, I still have my myriad of complaints early on uh, you know season one killing off way too many red shirts and it just makes death kind of meaningless and trivial and um uh, isayama was clearly someone trying to find their voice trying to you know figure out how they were going to write that story um season one yeah. is definitely the sloppiest um season two gets better season three is still the best season in my opinion uh season three is still the the peak of attack on titan uh season three is just where everything comes together um i i love season three um but overall it was it was satisfying it was satisfying and i'm glad i watched through the whole thing so yeah thumbs up it's it, it's a mm -hmm. moment we all lived through the the attack on titan era mm -hmm. yeah like i i <laughs> i um i I'm, i think i'm on the same boat with, with mark like uh like i watched season one on netflix and then er, and then every season after that is just every week just watching it whenever it comes out Overall, I thought it was I thought it was great. Um, I think that um, you know that maybe the idea of him was like, oh, you know, I want to, you know, the, the war between Marley and um, you know, Paradise is never gonna stop. So I'm gonna, you know, make my friends heroes by them killing me, forcefully becoming the bad guy, having them kill me, and then hopefully it can deter them from, hey, you know what, they're actually not that bad people because they're the same people as us. I'm not sure if that's a theory, but that's how I yeah. that's how I saw it. And yeah. um, I mean, that the whole thing at the end with the you know um, him saying you know don't you know when i'm when i'm gone take off the scarf you know mm -hmm. because i'm a terrible person and then she wears a scarf at the end Yo, don't make me cry don't do it so that okay. that scene with her <laughs> the scarf yeah. and her like you know her, yeah. her oh, being, no. oh dropping the flower off at the oh, oh. so it got me man yeah. it got me yeah all right and so i remember that is the last up. scene of the uh, of the episode and i was incorrect all right final question and then we're free don't say final question well, that's horrible <laughs> thumbs up thumbs down credit I'm sequence kidding, thumbs up thumbs down oh all the way up all the way up uh, i mean yeah i'd say i liked it i didn't really I, give I, my final I, thoughts <laughs> I'll just I, I'll I, like I 10 can, seconds. I'll the ten. the dog thing, like the uh, idea of it being like she was attacked by like running from dogs who were attacking her and the kid oh, goes in oh, with the dog. Oh, oh. I, I do I, I didn't really pick up on that, but when you yeah, yeah. when you clarify that, I was like, oh, maybe that is better than I thought it was. Cause I kind of thought it was, you know, yeah. like, and then the Titans no, 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 come no, back. No. And I'm like, oh no, don't do more. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Ivan's right. It's just it's just a symbolic ending. It's a cyclical yeah. ending. It's yeah. also because I really like the credit the, sequence. So that's it's why also I asked more thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I love the ending. Uh the credits, I now there's there sadly there's an ending there's an actual ending that like never got aired it's really good it's on youtube um it's fantastic it's armin and it's it's aaron and mikasa it's just beautiful but um and there's an opening by the way that never got aired i don't know why they didn't have an opening in this 
last part, but whatever. Hmm. Both of them were both of them were aired on YouTube. Just t- look up uh, official Attack on Titan opening and ending. It's on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. I did a yep. reaction to oh, it on weird. Weekend They're Wednesday. really good, man. They're good. Oh, you did a reaction to the opening and ending? I'll look that up. Mm-hmm. Um, no, the ending, uh, Mark, okay. The, um, I think, oh, I was just going to finish my thought on that. I think, uh, yeah, I think the apocalypse is more of an important focus point because it is, it is like, yeah, we're going to the future. Uh, wars, they show wars just like constant, like, you know, missiles barrage and they show a nuclear apocalypse and then there's an apocalypse. It's more like about just a cycle of violence and the apocalypse thing is the, is the culmination of that cycle. It's like, yeah. well, you can't, you can't do more violence than that, really. Yeah. Well, so, history becomes myth. Myth becomes legend. It becomes, it's, and it's going back to our Killers of the Flower Moon discussion, it becomes it's just beautiful. another common tragedy. It's beautiful. And that's just how it is. Yeah. And and people forget about Aaron's horrible deeds. So maybe he does get mm-hmm. some sort of uh, catharsis in the <laughs> And because society doesn't remember that he was like a Hitlerian fucking psychopath. Yep. But uh, <laughs> also, my wife, he was Hitch, by the way. What's 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 her name? Yeah. Hitch. Uh, yeah. Hitch. Yeah. Military police. Mess my wife. Who? Oh, I yeah. just want to say, overall, I thought this show. I'm like, clearly, I need to like watch it again, and I need to think about it and meditate on it, and you know, contemplate like other other values of the show, but. Overall, it's one of my favorite stories ever. I, I agree with Charlie, voice critical. It's one of the greatest stories ever told in, in the history of humanity, in my opinion. I, it's oh, wow. from, from so my you're, experience. You're big on it. Damn. From my experience, I've, dude, I've performed Shakespeare in the park. I've done a lot of these things. I've watched a fuck ton of movies. You know, Lord of the Rings is fucking amazing. It's my favorite thing of all time. However, oh. I think Attack on Titan to me is just so fucking powerful that it's like, it's one of the most important things I've ever experienced. And it's, it, mm. I think anime is, is gets a very, 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 very bad reputation of being childish. And it's like, this is, this is kind of a problem because anime is, there are some actually one of a kind, like brilliant geniuses in the anime industry. Like I'm talking about Isayama. I'm talking about, you know, Evangelion, you know, there's other people, you know, the guy, I can't remember his name right now, but um, there are some just brilliant people doing anime manga manga, and, and writing and, and storytelling. And it's like, we need to take this medium more seriously. <laughs> it's not just, you know, video games. Some, you know, Final Fantasy VII is my favorite video game story of all time. And I think um, it's a genius. It's, it's, it's better. It's a better story than like almost every book I've ever read besides like Tolkien and maybe like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And, and but like. I think anime, I don't know. I was, uh, I am rambling, but like I, I was in, I was in, a, okay, let me just say this quick. When I went to college, I took a class called um, science fiction and uh, what was it like world literature? And my sci fi professor was like, dude, there was a period of time in like the 60s, 70s where sci fi was not taken very seriously. And then it, then it became where Arthur C. Clarke and all these different people, you know, 2001 Space Odyssey and, you know, um, Philip K. Dick suddenly became like sort of revered in a different way and in and, and, and their storytelling. And it, it became like a serious storytelling medium. And I think anime is like the, pe- I think it's peaking right now in terms of its influence in society. So all that to say, I love the fucking movie. <laughs> I love Attack on Titan. Yeah. I think, I think he mm-hmm. meant thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I guess I'm the most ADHD I, person alive, by the way. Uh, I, well, have we gotten every <laughs> Ivan? Did you give your kind of overall thoughts and feelings? Like, uh, I, will, I, I, ga- I gather you're positive on it, but uh, absolutely. I mean, there's no, there's no denying that Attack on Titan is my favorite anime of all time, and I will say is oh, wow. the best, is the best uh, anime that has come out. Uh, Ivan that, can it, think what he likes. <laughs> I, I do think it's the best anime I've ever seen and that has come out. Um I, I don't I don't I mean for what it is, uh the ending, I think it was the best, most beautiful ending to a masterpiece of a series. Um and that's that's pretty much it. 
<laughs> you know, do I do I say it's perfect? No, there's 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 things that obviously you can um, you can discern like, oh, well, this doesn't really make sense. Oh, let me poke a hole here and there. OK, cool. You can do that. But you cannot deny it at the end of the day the level of mastery and complexity that Isayama came to the table with, you know? Like, yeah, it's easy to say, oh, this could have made it better. Yeah, but look at everything that he made. So that's that's what I have to do. I mean, he put it he put so much into it that I feel like there's a there's a sad chance that he might not make another show because we talked about it. He got so much backlash from this that it broke. It sort of broke him. <laughs> Dude, I, I I I let my channel die, and I'm okay with it. I'm pretty sure I know. he's not gonna do anything with it either. He's I gonna know, be like, I know. fuck this. Out. I think. Mean- I, I, I hope he moves on to other projects, but we will we'll wrap it up there. So why don't we do a quick pass around and everyone promote what you got to promote? We'll start with Ivan this time. Right. Um, go and check out Whips and Waifus. We do anime content. On Thursday, we have a live stream that just turns into degeneracy. And on <laughs> Sundays, um, I do a live drumming stream. So if you don't want nice. to like list, like just hear about anime or anything like that, but you want to rock to the anime intros, there's my drum set. And every Sunday I play the drums live. People ask me for songs that I don't even know. I improvise the hell out of it, but I have more than 150 anime intros that I know, and I just rock the <laughs> shit out of it. I can play the rumbling on my seven string. It's, uh, it's actually let's, 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 let's do something. Let's do something then. I'm down. I'll do karaoke. All right. All right. Um like KJ, where can we find you? I actually did post your channel link in uh in the description, but uh, do you oh. want people going there or not? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'll um I upload on occasion when I feel like it. Hey, KJ, but I, I'm, I have I don't... a recommendation for you. What? Yeah, uh, KJ is a very he's a very <laughs> casual YouTuber at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's good on streams. I think KJ, I think you should do videos about Brandon Sanderson. Yeah, speaking of which, Mark, what about that, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I need to um, I need to re- start Warbreaker again because uh, I now don't remember enough of it to resume in the middle. Poor Aiden is somewhere in a corner crying. You have broken her heart. <laughs> hey, I mean, I, I've, I've hung cruel, out with Aiden recently. I, I got to hang out with Aiden in, in jolly old London town. Isn't that right? And she hasn't been giving you shit about your lack of Sanderson? No. Uh, okay, she was thinking oh, it though. Would she you look at this puppy? Oh, she's just such a cute puppy. No, um, yeah, I, I guess um, the main things I'm actually active on are gonna be like my anime list and Bandcamp. So those are gonna be my big ones. Um, those would be the ones that I mean, th- that's the ones I'm more active on. I mean, you can follow me on my YouTube channel. I, I do stuff on there, but. Um, here, this is this is the one where I actually do things more frequently. Um, my anime list, um, and then my band camp, which I'm not going to post, but you can find it easy. Um, yeah, there you go. And uh, Philip Chan, Project Egg Roll. How uh, you? What? Yeah, um, so you can follow us on Project Egg Roll uh, on YouTube. We're on also on Twitter or X. Uh, what's it called? We're also on Rumble. Uh, my co-host is in the Philippines, so he's probably working right now. That's the reason why he's not here. But uh, he, he, he hasn't watched Attack on Titan. That's probably reason, another reason why he's not here. But yeah, you can follow us on there for my own personal stuff. I do stream on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. So you got, if you guys want to watch me do some D-Gen, you know, uh, what's it called again? The Baldur's Gate 3 stuff, you can follow me there. <laughs> yeah. uh, Carlac is best girl. Lofty, where can we find you? Uh, I would say, well, Lofty Pixels on YouTube. Every Wednesday, I'm streaming. Uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m.s, right before sh- midweek hump, basically. I'm doing an entire month. I I, I might change my mind at, about this, but th- but I'm doing. I'm trying to do a Miyazaki month in November. Uh, because his new movie comes out in December, so, uh. I might do a couple streams in November exclusively about Miyazaki. I'm trying to have a panel of people who want to come on and talk about it. I might do like a debate between like, you know, wh- which movies are better, blah, 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 blah. Uh, other than that, Napoleon 
and and the, and David Fincher's The Killer are two films this month that I'm going to be do reviewing on my channel. So that um, if you if you're interested in Napoleon or The Killer, come on, we'll talk about it. Um, and that's man, that's uh, does anyone know when The Killer comes out? I think it's this week. It's 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 getting yeah. And so maybe I do next not know. Week, it's David Fincher, so it's you know if you like Seven and Fight Club, you should watch it. Um, other yeah. than that, um, it's pretty much all I'm doing. And ah, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, uh, Lofty Pictures. Rocky. And JoJo, yeah, Twitter is a good place to find me as well. Though I'm Cyborg Mark there, because someone took Mark the Cyborg. X-ray girl, uh, where can we find you? Except for in my dreams, baby. Uh... <laughs> Wow. How do I follow <laughs> that up? <laughs> uh, X Ray Girl, Rumble YouTube, Locals, all them good things. Um, yeah. I stream games and stuff. Nice. <laughs> Cool. Well, everybody, I'm Mark the Cyborg. You're on my channel right now. So just uh, hit that <laughs> subscribe button and maybe the notifications one too, because I do upload pretty frequently these days. Um, it's usually clip outs of my stream. So if you don't want to watch me stream, you can just watch 10 minutes of me actually saying worthwhile things edited to gameplay footage. But uh, anyways, the, the puppies are going insane, so they, we need to we need to to bed them at once. But uh, but uh, oh my God, puppies! I swear to God, take it easy, everybody, and thank you very much Hi. for watching. It, it was great to see y'all, and thanks for joining all all panel members. Bye, everybody. Jojo.